Hello everybody and welcome back to another Saints game day and we have so many games in store for you all at home and once again I am the host for today Matthias also known as Matthias and I'm joined by Gabriel yes hello uh, so today in terms of games we have League of Legends we have Overwatch we have two cases of Overwatch yeah. uh, and we have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 yes I can go over the exact ones we have we're starting off with Nace Overwatch 2 I believe that's going to be our Academy starting off today against Missouri Western State University that's going to also be concurrently happening with our Nace Varsity uh, League of Legends team they're going to be going up against James Madison University then we have two more games in store which is our CCL COD Modern Warfare 3 Varsity team versus Wright State University and then we have one more final game for today, and that's going to be another NACE Overwatch 2 game. It's going to be the Varsity team versus Fisher College, which is going to be a big game. Fisher College is well-renowned for being one of the pinnacles of uh, coll collegiate esports. They're very, very yeah. strong, but we're uh, right up there with them, so it's going to be a big that. battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, for sure, we're going to start off with some League of Legends and some Overwatch. I believe that mm -hmm. one starts off at 7. Uh, so we're kind of going to be interested into seeing what we will see in terms of the rosters. Uh, so we're going to be seeing here on the Saints side, we have um, our standard roster for the Saints. Uh, so we have... Uh, uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, it's just the standard roster. We have a Grubby. We have, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, oh, that. This is the okay. This is the uh, Overwatch team. Oh, that's the, the Overwatch team. team. Okay, I think you're thinking it was the League of Legends team. No, we're gonna be starting off with the Grubby, the Holy Juan, Theo. <laughs> we know him. I love No Injustice and Gabriel S. I believe that's his real name. I can't quite remember his gamer tag right now. But on the other end of the team, we have Skur, <laughs> Midia, Nova, Veyu, Axel, and Tool. Hey, a lot of Tool Toolish names there. But uh. Looks like they're all very high ranked as well, but just looking at the rankings, I think the Saints have them beaten in rank, but they do have one top 500 on their team to balance out those Ooh. two masters. That is that is that is definitely something that is very strong uh, to go up against, but it is a team game, so even if you're 1v9, you might not actually be able to take the win, you know, uh, when it comes to, uh, I mean, so this one was uh, Overwatch. So Overwatch kind of being a game where, like, your tank can be as good as you you want them to be. If the DPS isn't DPSing and the healers aren't healing, it ain't going to do much. <laughs> yeah. All right, this time it's League of Legends. There we go. I got it right. You want to take right. this one over? Yeah, I'll take this one over. <laughs> so, yeah. Of course, we have Baker Boy, Maddie, uh, and Rock Boom, Ricky, and Bakery Boy uh, going to be up there for the team. And then, in terms of the Dukes for uh, JMU. JMU, we have see? Handholder 77, LA Knight, Sightless, Furious Frylord, and Asp Noob. And just judging on the rankings, it looks like they're going to be a, a, for an up, in for an uphill battle. Oh, yeah. As the Saints are all very highly ranked. And we've seen them play. They're all very, very vicious on that Summoner's Rift. For sure. Those names kind of hard to read based on where we are. Oh, name. yeah. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but we covered them anyways. I should and those gonna be, are going to be our first upcoming games. And how do you think this League of Legends game is going to go? Let's get some uh, predictions here. Okay. So League of Legends game. So right now, the meta is the same as last week. Uh, so kind of a refresher. Rel, Brand in the jungle, still pretty strong. Uh, we've seen some Orion in the mid lane. We've seen some Corky. Oh, the Corky is kind of dying off a little bit more. We might see the Syndra come out, of course. Just though, generally speaking, those mages in the mid lane, really strong. Uh, in the top lane, I mean, your standard relatively heavy bruisers. We might see the Olaf come out. We might see the Cassante come out. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see a Darius. We have seen, um, Ricky, I believe, er... Uh, Public enemy number one. That is Ricky, right? Yes, that yeah. is Ricky. Uh, so yeah, we've seen the lethality Darius come out a few times. So we might see that. Uh, we've coming been seeing out the again. Gragas a lot as well. The Gragas has been coming out a lot. Yeah, with the um, the Gragas top with Grasp has been pretty strong. Um, haven't seen it in the like higher pro levels, but in the collegiate level, it's still pretty staple. Um, and then in the bot lane, I mean, the bot lane's kind of the bot lane. Yeah. 
we're probably going to be seeing... <laughs> uh... they, they buffed Kane, which is an interesting pick. Who I didn't think was doing it too bad right now. I think I thought he was in a decently well, balanced spot. But... See, it's because Riot does this thing where if they want to introduce a skin for someone, they buff them first. <laughs> uh, well, there's that. Plus, there's also the fact that Kane is kind of one of those champions where... Very Independently of the rank, everybody kind of plays him. Yes. Like, yes. everybody has him as a pocket pick, except for me, apparently. Uh, so <laughs> they kind of have to keep them relatively bleh, relatively strong. Um, it's kind of like how Zed is kept low all the or like really weak all the time because he just has the ability to Mesh one shot with, someone yeah. and play. I don't Very know, differently. Chess yes. <laughs> with you and his shadows, which is really, really annoying. Uh, so, yeah, as we can see, Kane just he gets popped up here and there now and then. He's just really annoying to go up against. I hate Kane. He has too many dashes and on target ability. <laughs> like, come on, man. Let me hit something. I can't even auto attack the guy. He's always moving. Um, this is coming from a guy that plays. <laughs> <laughs> One auto attack is worth a lot to me. But, anyways, uh, yeah, so as we can see, the, the J4 actually with the. Mm -hmm. um, the buffs. I wouldn't be surprised to see him come out. Uh, pretty staple in the jungle. But I was talking about ADCs. ADCs right now, uh, Zeri got nerfed or fixed, whatever. So she's a big no-go. Um, well, I mean, okay, you can still play her, but like, it, she's... Uh, it's Zeri. Zeri is either hella in the meta or not at all in the meta. And in this case, she is not at all in the meta. Uh, so, what you can usually see, you might see some, uh, some Ash, some Senna, Fashing Senna. Pretty common right now. Uh, Ash, of course, just a staple. You can kind of just play her into anything. Um, I've seen some Severe in pro play, actually, coming out. It didn't win, but it was Severe Yumi. And they went <laughs> up against the Blitzcrank. That was funny. Um, pro tip. <laughs> the Sivir did not live. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Did Nilly get buffed here? Oh, no. They reduced her base yep. movement speed. They nerfed her. She was yeah, like, a, little, a, bit a little bit too strong. <laughs> yeah, she was very strong from what I have experienced personally in a few of the games. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, one. you're there and then you're not. Yep. That's just how it's Just works. a big wide spear. I slowly... And the Rek'Sai, <laughs> of course. I mean, the Rek'Sai is... Uh... The Rek'Sai, it's like every season that they get a rework. Or it feels that way, at least. Um, because every time that the new season comes out, they're like, okay, you know what? We're going to modify Rek'Sai and make them a little bit better on mm -hmm. some sides and a little bit worse. So, like, the E doesn't deal true damage anymore. Now oh. it deals percent, I think it's missing health or max health. Yeah, maximum health damage. So, like, Interesting. why would it do that? Like, I had fun <laughs> playing Rek'Sai top, actually. It was mm -hmm. really fun at the start of, the, of last season because basically what you would do is you'd play the Rek'Sai... Um, and you deal true damage on the E, right? So what would happen is, it doesn't matter if you're going up against a tank or an ADC, that thing still hurts, right? Uh, Senna actually getting a little bit of a nerf, which was uh, well-deserved. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've seen... Have you seen the farming Senna lately? Uh, no, I have not. Okay, farming Senna has been pretty strong uh, in solo queue, to the point where she's pretty much been completely driven out of support and into the farming. Uh, I mean, people still play or support, yes. and in pro play, you're still going to say Fasting Senna, where, yeah, okay, uh, the ADC is the one playing the Senna, but the one farming is the support. Um, yeah, I mean, Seraphine nerfs. Uh, personally, I'm not a big fan of Seraphine, so deserved. Uh, <laughs> she's just so annoying. She, she's too, like, a good for how easy she is to play, right? There's not enough uh, it's... <laughs> risk versus reward there. It's very uh, point-and-click adventure, but... Hey, for me, it's a personal look. bias. I just hate Seraphine. Ah, fair enough. You know, we already had one music champ, so I understand where that comes from. You know, Let so, Sona so you're be either a Sona, Sona stan or a Seraphine stan. Exactly. <laughs> we have I, I am Sivir a Sona stan. getting a little bit of a buff with the base armor. She we have Smolder. Needs it. <laughs> it a very good spot. Is this going to be a buff or a nerf? I know they nerfed him last patch, so it's going to be. That's a lot of math right there, and I'm going to say that's a little bit of a nerf. <laughs> well, <laughs> how... a little bit. From 6.5 to 2%? <laughs> well, there's another bit. one. Plus 1% 1 AP, plus 0.8% of the dragon stack. So if you can stack enough, it can maybe get better? I don't know. I would have to see what 0.8 of 9999 is to really see the full skill cap of that. You're not going to get that in a normal game, though. No. So we see... Just an overall nerf because he was very strong there once people he figured was out how broken. to build him. <laughs> There's okay, look, here's the thing, right? He has he's an ADC who has really good self peel. 
with his like uh, when he sneezes, right? Yes. Because that that's a that's like a big slow. Um, so if you're dashing towards him, oh okay, fine. I'm just gonna fly away now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so doesn't matter. You stun him. Well, he can just call his mom to heal him for that duration because it's a buffer timer, right? A plus is gonna slow the entire team. <laughs> like just just from that, you're like, okay, that's pretty bad. And then yeah, you add on to that the passive infinite stacking, the plus true damage execute, the true damage execute, <laughs> and you're starting to get where it's going. Uh, wait, hold on, please tell me. It's a vein nerf. Yes. Adjustment. Get her out of the top yes, lane. That is a nerf for a vein. Get her out of the top lane. I don't want to see her. <laughs> and then stay Vigar. away from my bruiser and tank. And actually, there's a lot of more stuff than that in the top lane. But I wish it was just that. Um, but huh. you know, just from what we've seen, it's just been a lot of small adjustments. Wait, Vagar buffs back and forth to all the champs. So it'll oh, no. affect the game in a big way, meta on the meta level. But it's not gonna. Totally change the way the game is played. No massive changes, but the meta might shift here and there because of this patch here. Maybe a little bit, a lot. I mean, it <laughs> depends. It's because <sighs> one change is all it takes for the game to go from one side to the other. Do you remember the AD LeBlanc? Yes, I do. They nerfed that. Oh. Then they introduced an item that literally charges faster when you dash. <laughs> They didn't nerf it. They buffed it. <laughs> Fair enough. And did they buff Wukong? Or no? Oh, no, not that monkey. Oh. I think that's oh. a little bit of a buff there, no? Passive stacks, percent amplification stacks. Yeah, that's a little bit of a lot of a buff. <laughs> that's a little bit of a lot oh, of yeah, a Oh, yeah, one at a time stack follow for it as well. So he needs less stacks to get up to full. And now they go only one at a time. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I mean, Wukong has been a pretty in a pretty bad spot lately. To be fair, maybe he did deserve a little bit of a buff. But here we're gonna move on to Overwatch. Here, uh, let's look at this team composition. Yeah, we have G skills on the Zarya, Grubby on the Echo, the Holy Juan on Tracer, Injustice on the Lucio, Love Note on the Kiriko. We have a Kiriko, Coffee Bean on the side of Missouri Western. We have Axel on the Echo. We have a Doomfist on Sir, Veyu on Tracer, and Tool on the Lucio. Very similar comps, but a different tank, because I've been seeing that Doomfist comp come out. It can work sometimes, but only if you're very confident in your skills and you have the right movement. Yeah, that Doomfist team composition is kind of hard to pull off, to be fair. And oh my god, hold on. Things are popping off. Kiriko getting a double kill here. Grubby gonna pick up his counterpart Echo and Zarya getting the melee onto Kiriko. Injustice taking out his counterpart too. Yikes. Yeah, that's gonna be a whole team wide for St. Clair. Now they have possession of this first point, but Sir's gonna try and flip that as he dives in. Rockets around everywhere, gets the health back, trying to stay alive. But this Zarya beam is burning him down along with the tracer at his back. There's nowhere for him to run as he goes down as Grubby gets a double. And now Holy Juan goes in and gets two, three, four, and that's gonna be a five player kill streak for the Holy Juan and an entire team wide for the side of St. Clair College. And now they're kind of stuck in their spawn, huh? Yeah, this is not looking good for uh, Missouri Western here. Because, like, how do you get out of this situation? You, you switch to Zarya. You take someone who can maybe tank a few more hits, try and lead the charge. But, you know, two Zaryas is better than one Zarya, says Grubby as he copies with his ultimate and moves in, trying to build up enough alt charge to get the Graviton Surge off. And there it is. Trap the Zarya in her side of her own alt. And she goes down as well, leaving the Kiriko last one standing, but not for long. Yeah, there goes the poster girl. That is <laughs> not a good situation. Uh, Kiriko, I mean, she's she's really strong with the headshot damage. I mean, Blizzard's kind of always going to keep her strong because she's the poster girl. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Sometimes it feels like she just doesn't do much. Yeah, Kiriko is actually one of the only champs, or uh, heroes, sorry, we were on the League of Legends brain. Oh, there's a Graviton Surge, and that's going to be a huge Pulse Bomb happening at the same time. Does a lot of damage for the Sound Barrier, comes out on the side of Missouri Western. Bayou gets one, Axel gets another, the Saints are falling one by one. Holy Wan trying to get anything here, but he gets Graviton Surge as Bayou and Sir clean up all of St. Clair. Yikes!
Sorry, I'll continue what I was saying there. What were we yeah. talking about? <laughs> uh, we're talking about Kiriko. Oh, Kiriko is one of the few heroes that got their projectile size nerfed in the update. Wait, she actually got nerfed? Yeah, they reduced wow, the projectile size. I didn't think Blizzard size. was capable of that. So she's actually one of the harder uh, heroes here to hit headshots with now. Before it was dead easy, but now with how big some of these hit scans are and projectiles, she's one of yeah. the least strong in that regard. Well, to be fair, though, the hitboxes in general got bigger, so it would be pretty broken. Oh, hold on here, though. The Surge coming from Zarya gonna actually lock down G-Scale. Not gonna allow him to get anywhere, but Injustice gonna pick up the Kiriko. Tracer gonna pick up the... Uh, the... Oh, wait, is that the tank? Yeah, that is, yeah, that is the, the tank. Grubby's gonna pick up the Tracer. But, ah. Axel's getting a few nice kills here, battling out with the Lucio and falls to Love Note. It's gonna flip the point back over to St. Clair. Alrighty, well, St. Clair is in the lead. That is a very, very good time if you're them, but uh, if you're Missouri Wister, not so much. Alright, on the plus side though, all charges, I actually know all charges are also against them. <laughs> yeah, all charges, everything is against them right now. They switch oh, over to the Winston, up. did not get anything in that pulse bomb. The shield up, and oh, no one was able to contest, even when you had oh, the whole no. team there, no one was able to touch. That's going to be oh, the first point draft. going over to St. Clair College. And yes, we also have the draft happening as well. Ooh, goody, goody, goody. All right, you know how I was talking about the Darius Lethality? Is right there. I see it. The Pike being picked up. The Silas being picked up here. Uh, an Orn, a Caitlyn, and an Alistar. Okay, Caitlyn and Alistar isn't a bad comp. Uh, for the bottom lane, the bands here, the Smolder, the Seraphine, the Cassante makes sense. Uh, the Senna, the Rel, and the Graves for JMU is also a really good pick uh, for those bands. Just they're really annoying champions to go up against. Senna, Infinite Scaling, actually relatively decent early game. Uh, good picks there. The Oriana band coming out on that second band phase is really good. She has been pretty deadly lately. Uh, the J4 band also in that jungle is going to be pretty nasty. But as Overwatch continues... Yeah, we'll see the rest of that draft once it's all finalized or once we're in game. But a huge battle is breaking out here. And oh no, Grubby! A little bit of Missy's movement there. Does he fall off there? Or no, that's gonna be Axel falling oh. off here. And yeah, Grubby is gonna make it all the way back here, flying really low to that kill box here. And you're gonna take out one of their supports. That should be enough of damage to the team here from the cap point here. Well, I think I've been playing Echo wrong. You're supposed to stay behind most. Okay. Well, usually when I play Echo, I'm like right and up in everybody's face to make sure that all three projectiles hit. I feel like she's, she's, she shoots three, right? Yes. Kind of like a Mozambique. So I usually just get it up in people's face, but it looks like you're supposed to play it like backline. Yeah, if you can aim your shots, she's very squishy. Oh, so. you need to aim your shots. <laughs> well, oh, you well that would explain why it doesn't work. <laughs> My bad. Well, you could shoot it from far away. It's just harder to aim, right? It's once you're farther up. I can't up. hit anything at point blank. How am I supposed <laughs> to hit anything from far away? I don't think it has much damage fall off, so it is pretty decent at range. You want to stay up in the air. The main damage dealer is going to be those sticky grenades that you shoot out with your right click. We see Holy One on the back line. We see the Winston running into this house here. He doesn't really know how to get out of here. He's going to go back to the team. Sticky's come out from Grumpy. Doesn't find all too much. Now they're going to try approaching from the other angle, doing a little bit of a pincer maneuver. Coffee Bean goes in, Suzu keeps his team up and alive. There's a Pulse Bomb, but G-Scales is going to kill him before it goes off. Just going to get another kill, looking to clean it up right here. Three kills, Feyu picking off one more, but it's going to be a team Yikes. wipe from G-Scales. Oh yeah, G-Scales knows that's play of the game. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the hell is going out. All right, back to the draft. Uh, we're seeing in those last bands uh, a Cassiopeia band and a, what? Wait, whose PFP is that? Is that a Bane? I think that's a Bane. So that'll be nice and interesting to see. Uh, back onto <laughs> Overwatch though, they're still fighting it out. Yeah, Surrogate's nice double kill there, killing both supports is going to be massive for the team. But Grubby is in there with the ult. He takes control of the Winston. This is the ult, but he can't really do much in time. Trying to stay alive, trying to take out this Echo, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Laser comes out, it's timed. There's the sound barrier from Injustice, but his team wasn't with him. They're all popping ults here in a scramble to try and retake point, but I don't think 
it's going to quite work out for them. They're going to have to maybe commit even one more ult to try and take this for sure. But now, with another ult coming out on the side of Missouri Western, it might be a tough job to do, but the Graviton Surge comes out from G-Scales, and it gets two of them, but unable to secure any kills. And yeah. look at these kills come out. Holy Wong gets one, True False Bomb goes out. Doesn't find much. This is so chaotic, Gabriel. Yeah, chaos is definitely prevalent here. Uh, but they did manage to get the point. It's at 97% for the Saints and 30, okay, 40% in rising as I'm finishing my sentence. Uh, so they are uh, getting to that point where they're gonna be looking a little bit Ooh, better, but that bomb, bomb is gonna find the Zarya, the laser going to gun down the Kiriko. Yikes. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be enough though, as the rest of his te the team on St. Clair's side is just being shredded by this Win Winston. And it's very, very tough to look at. But you know what's not tough to look at? Our exclamation mark streams in the oh, chat. Yes. You can look at the other streams and look at every other single game we have going on today. But it's without our lovely commentary, and you don't wouldn't want that. So you can stay right here and continue to watch us commentate this Overwatch game as it looks like they're going to go on the back line here for a bit of a sneaky push. G Skills is just trying to push through, but. Oh, he's gonna be able to do it. They pick one DPS up, that's gonna be huge. There's a shield going down, a Winston ult coming out from Grubby. Now, they're gonna try and fight through this Kirika ult and the Winston ult. This is getting crazy here. There's the Winston ult being popped from Grubby, Grubby, but he's just gonna use it to try and get this Tracer. Mikkel comes out, he's not gonna be able to do it. Get some stickies, gets him down to one, and it, Holy Juan is there to pick off the Winston. Another one, but Axel gets a kill right back. Now we're in overtime. If the Saints can capture this point, this could be it. This could be game one going it, yeah. over to them. Two more seconds if someone could touch, but it's not even possible. Yeah, there you go. Woo. And St. Clair Academy takes the first map 1 0. All right, well, that's pretty good. That was All right, play of the game. Oh, yeah. Let's I'm, see. I'm calling G Skills. Oh, Vayu getting play of the game. I'm excited to see this. I wonder which play it was. This was play. <laughs> Gets an assist, dodges in. Oh, that is a good sticky. That finds one, yeah. That support kill was what won them the point over. And there's Two, a grab. Three. Okay, yeah, yeah, was, yeah, I can see that. I can that was, see that. That's that, that, that one was, was decent. Good. It was good. It was, it was, it was good. pretty good. I honestly expected it to be the Zarya. I don't. I don't know why, but like. <laughs> it's just because you're so dominant. There's good. too many plays to choose from. That is true, and I mean it is automated. So like sometimes the computer is gonna say, hmm. <laughs> That one looks okay, and it's clearly that one, but uh, it is what it is. What do you want, right? Uh, but for League of Legends, I think the draft is, the draft was done last yes, time, it was right? Done. Okay, oh. I need to remember. I think I saw a Callista paired up with the Pike. Yes. Uh, my memory is... I, I saw something. Okay. It's my favorite champ in the game. I saw a Viego jungle Oh, right, you love Viego. For, <laughs> for St. Clair. So that's going to be amazing to watch. He's in an actually decent spot right now. He has a lot of uh, hey, you're talking powerful about that options. With the Kraken Slayer combo. Yeah, he's just and... damage all the way. It's fun. <laughs> Isn't he supposed to be a bruiser, though? Yeah, he's, he's, he picks up a few damage-boosting items that have some health attached, but he's definitely uh, more damage-oriented right now. So I'm not about to see somebody try and play on ADC with full ADC items, right? <laughs> no, no. I'm not under, under not yet, that not threat? Yet. Okay. <laughs> I, I just want to make sure because, like, I'm playing in bronze here. I've seen many, many Oswos in that bot lane. And trust <laughs> me, you do not want to see the unholy deaths that they have. It is, I feel bad for their supports. And sometimes I am their support. <laughs> On which point, I support other lanes. <laughs> because, God, how are you 0-5 at 5 minutes? Please, explain that to me. I don't know. I can't explain it, but maybe modern science can. And just looking at the scoreline, Saints are 7-1. And, and nearly the inverse for Wright State Esports, 1-6. and six. Things are not looking good for them, but hey... This is a journey made with a single step. Maybe this is the one that'll swing them in the right direction. They're the underdogs going into this one, but I don't think that our St. Clair Saints COD team is going to let that happen. I think it's going to be a 2-0, a 2-1, a a or... I think it's going to be a 3-0. Wait, it's best of five? Yeah, COD is always best of five, yes. Oh, yeah, that's for COD. Yes. <laughs> I was thinking league, I was like, what? I know, I thought it was league for a second. I was like, that's not the league team we're going up against. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Yeah, so best of five for, uh, yeah. 
And there. Overwatch varsity. Ooh. Ooh, all top 500s on the team of Fisher. And same for St. Clair. So Aside from Zay, who is one grandmaster. But hey, he's team captain, so maybe he's better at organizing. So how, how, how big is the percent of the top 500 that we have like on our screen right now? Uh, I would need to get an exact number, but I'm not quite sure. At least a good, solid percentage of it. And maybe like <laughs> 1% of the top 500 players? Well, that'd be five players. Yeah, it'd be five players. Okay, so we have so more we than one percent. We got like two, maybe maybe three percent. Yeah, two to three percent. Yeah, it's not bad. So it's looking pretty good, for sure. And so yeah, we're gonna talk about league. We were talking about league. Yes, we were talking about league. So uh, we we're talking about the patch notes, and then the Viego, and we were talking about the interactions. Uh, I don't. Did you see the rest of the draft or not? The draft? I didn't yeah, see I, the we left saw side the Saints, draft. But yeah, I okay. just, uh, Viego's uh, abs really just stole my vision away from yeah, everything that's, else. Yeah, that's, that's, what they, that's, yeah, that's how they made Viego. That's, that's <laughs> literally the entire goal. Ruin King, but like looks absolutely jacked. Hey, he's trying to win his wife back by doing sit-ups, I guess. kind of dead? <laughs> Anyways, we're back in Overwatch Don't game. Don't bring people back to life. <laughs> back in Overwatch game two <laughs> against the Missouri Western. St. Clair won the first game. Holy One getting the team off to a nice start, picking off that echo. Oh, no, oh it's a big flank, but Yikes. A, little bit, a little bit too confident there. Yeah, a little too gutsy there, uh, but we are seeing the Sojourn, which we haven't seen in a while, I think. No, we haven't, but I'm pretty sure she's still just a solid pick, but just not the must pick that she was for those few months now. But she's very, very good. Able to do the burst damage super quickly and able to stack that DPS passive pretty well because of high fire rate. Now we see G Scales taking out Veyu. And they demech the D.Va. They're all just wiping them out one by one. A nice, interesting push from above there, but it's not going to be enough. Yeah, I was going to say, I think the D.Va is a little bit more than just demeched. I think she's also de-lifed. Because. Uh, Baby Diva doesn't have much in terms of health. No, I think she has 175, which is the lowest you can have now after the changes. It's the same Even as Tracer. Tracer has more, right? No, I think Tracer still has 175. You might be right, but I think it's still one of the lowest health champs in the game. Heroes keep going back and forth. <laughs> but here we are. They have the overclock at the ready. Use it here. Holy One gets a nice pulse bomb kill. And I think that's going to stall out their attack. They don't want to try Oops. doing that again. But here in this upper corridor, they don't really have many choices of exfiltration. Oh my god, oh. the ultimate can go crazy here. That is a shooting gallery if I've ever seen one. G skills funds one. That grenade's going to do work. Love Note finding another. Now they're going to focus on this Echo. And no one's able to get out of that room. That is... Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Choke points in Overwatch. That is literally all you need to know. <laughs> choke points in Overwatch are the worst spot in the world to be. Because those choke points are so bad to if be. You're, if you're the one pushing, if you're on defense, you love Oh, yeah, choke if, you, if, if you're on defense, <laughs> you're sitting there with your, uh, I don't know, your booster juice and you're having a sip <laughs> while, uh, yeah, they all get gunned down by your Torbjorn Torbjorn. You can be getting gunned down. Grubby funds one through all the chaos. We're going to see another ultimate be committed here. Kirko out for Kirko ult. Now the bullets are flying, but they're all falling on the side of Missouri Western. They're staying alive, but just barely. But just like that, they're all falling down. And Injustice funds one. The overclock gets committed, but through the shield, that was a big Winston shield. It will stall out. There's a Graviton Surge. Sir getting one. One gonna get a pick through all the chaos. There's the ult being committed from the Winston. Almost gets the Kirko, but the Kirko gets out just in time, but it's not going to be enough time as they go down as well. Tracer the Tracer? Pulse Bomb misses? Pulse Bomb misses. They're just trying to nail down this Tracer, and they do. All right. And they all fall down in a 15-player kill streak from G-Scale. That's uh, pretty insane. I mean, 15 players. Uh, by the time that's, I kill 15, I've died 15. That's like uh, three team wipes just on your own. Yeah, that's uh, uh, not something I can achieve. Well, I mean, I can achieve it. It's just I'm kind of... Uh, you're busy. Unadept at doing so. <laughs> you could do it if you had to. But here we are. Veyu is going to take down a Love Note. There's a Pulse Bomb. Going to take out both DPSs here as Axel goes down. 
Now Holy Wallen just trying to pick up the back line here, kill the support. Sir though, on the Zarya getting a lot, and Veyu switching to the Sojourn is having a successful time here as he gets four, three or four kills there. Now this point is looking to go over to Western Missouri Western. Yeah, well, I think that'll there. be captured there. But ooh, on the side of the League of Legends. So we did see is that a Scion in the top lane? No, that's an Orn. Okay, so it's an Orn, a Talia, a Talia jungle, a Cassidin mid. Wait, Cassidin? There's a Cassidin. <laughs> it's what? Cassidy. You know, Cassidin. Who called Kaisa's father here? It's Cassidin v Silas there in the mid lane. Oh god. It's gonna be interesting. Silas with Cassidin all is gonna be very weird. <laughs> Like, is it a single use? Because it's not it's very good. Use, if it's yeah. multi-use, is it a time limit? Like, but like he's know. still like or, uh, or Silas still has some really good ultimates, right? He has the Talia ultimate. He can take Caitlyn ult. The, the, what the best. is going on he's here? Alistair. Oh my God! They're just no walking they're getting all through. At level. Wait, they're getting zoned. They have no XP. Alistair just hit level two. Oh no! This is looking disastrous for James Madison. Rock boom. Takes out the Furious Fry Lord. Looks like the jungle is gonna go down and help him do that. It's a bat brawl in the oh. top lane there. They're both one shot. Well, you were talking about Viego. Here he is getting the stun onto Caitlyn. Wow. That's gonna be a kill. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Maybe Talia can do something here. They do have a lot of dashes. Maybe do something here. Oh. But gonna get stunned by Maddie. Gets one kill with the turret. But. He just dashed into mine. Not gonna be successful. But oh, two kills actually. Okay, Who okay. Can make a three trying to salvage that early kills in the bot lane. I think they did salvage that. Not completely, but I mean, it's two to three now. There's a, the double Graviton surge coming out right now. Ooh, the grenade hits the barrier there. And this is. See, that's what I would do. <laughs> completely miss my grenade. That's fair. <laughs> the only thing I can land is like a snipe from way too far away in. I don't know what. I mean, like, okay, in Tarkov, I can land some pretty good snipes, but like, that's about it. And it's not a competitive game, so it doesn't work. That's why we're behind the desk, and they're up there in Indeed. the front lines. <laughs> and they get the first checkpoint. Payload is moving. Right now, they do have Dragon Blade. They have a lot of alts on the board. They have Overclock, they have Dragon Blade, and they have Cure Call. This could be devastating for the Saints. And there is the Dragon Blade committed. Is he going to find anything with it, though? He finds one, gets the healing, going to go in, finds two, finds three. And that is looking to Play be a hit. Play the game? Maybe? Could be playing the game. Actually, someone's going to be contesting, so they're not going to get oh, the payload oh, up oh. in time. Still going to have a few more pushes. Holy Hong going to get a Pulse Bomb. Tool taking one down. Overall, the Saints are doing a good job on defense, but now momentum is just in the hands of Missouri Western. See the overclock committed here, Veyu. Has anything hit? I don't think anything's quite hit here, but hey, you don't want to push up too far with only 40 health. True. Healed back up to full here. Grubby also committing the overclock. Finds a one. And there's a Kirko all but Axel and Sur are gonna get fined two in all the chaos. And Axel finding another. Sur just leading the charge for the team, pushing them back to the spawn. And now the Saints need a touch and they need one now, but with the team kill on the board, I don't think it's gonna be possible. Lucio goes in, touches, he gets burned down in seconds. Now it's up to the Genji and the Kiriko to try and stall for time here. But if you're only stalling, it's not gonna amount to too much here. Dodge and weave, boys, dodge and weave. Dodge and weave, but you can't dodge too long when you have the Graviton Surge pulling everybody in. And now, that's gonna be three points going over to the side of Missouri Western. St. Clair has to answer of their own. Yikes. Already on to the side of League of Legends. There was another kill for the Saints. I don't know where though. Uh, the kill seems to have been on Diego here as there's an engage in the mid lane. Cassidy taking so much damage and going to end up dying to the Silas. Yikes. I imagine, uh, no, never mind. I was gonna say maybe he went top because they were both low we last checked, but I don't think that happened. I think it was a mid kill. Happening through all of this craziness. Yeah, well, Cassidy is pretty weak before six, or I mean, before like 16. Uh, he, he desperately needs uh, that movement as well from his R, yeah. which he doesn't get till level six, of course. So he's a, not a very good early game champ. He doesn't even, I, I, he should be going ROA, right? Rod of Ages? I think so. You want to try and boost that. He went with two books here. 
So maybe he's cooking something else, or maybe he's going for uh, Scepter. Ooh, really good use of the W there by Orn. Dodging the grab. I would not be able to do that. <laughs> then again, I don't play Orn that much. But here in the bot lane, Weaver's Wall will go in, try to separate the support from the EDC, but it doesn't matter, they're an unbreakable couple. And oh, actually, maybe not. Pike almost dying here, brought really low. Talia gonna finish him off. And now that the support is gone, the ADC is heartbroken, and there goes the, t the uh, Callista too. Orn misses his... Oh god, he... Orn missed the <laughs> charge. Uh, I know that I think feeling. they still got the kill, though, because Diego is there to steal the deal. But... Oh, no, the Horn, Orn missed it. Never mind. I yeah, the Orn Horn completely missed. I feel so bad. You know what? I don't feel bad for the Saints here as they're pushing on to this first point. Just gonna go for the straightforward approach, not go to the loop around strat that Missouri Western was going to. But maybe they might have to, as Missouri Western's doing a decent job at holding them off right now. No one has fallen just quite yet. The Genji's trying to dive in, find something, finds one. Getting taken down by G Skills. Bayou picking off the tank. You know, all the chaos. And it's looking to be a tough push here. Yeah, the push is a little bit threatening, but if you can find the right angle, Sometimes you can just make it through. Here they need to find a pick. If they can get like a good pulse bomb on like a support, then you're good. Or like a headshot from the uh, uh, cannon gun thing. Soldier the rail gun. Yeah, the rail gun. <laughs> oh, speaking oh, of a pick, one. there goes the tracer. That should be an engage for everybody. Could be, should be, but would it be? Can we find some one? The Zarya's on the back line burning down the supports. But it looks like a kind of bubble there to try and get them out of here. Skills finding the one. Take down Tool. Sir looking to find another, but wow, look at League of Legends right now. This is crazy. Cleans up those kills, gets his revenge. They're looking to pick up this final last pick. I, I'm going to say that's a kill. I'm going to make the executive decision. They that's going to be a kills. six in one Callista. Uh, okay. Chief, I think the game is over. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. There's things you can do, but you can Six definitely. Six and Callista. You can definitely tell that the Saints are having a good time. You know, you gotta wait for them to make a mistake at this level of play, which is probably not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Six and Callista is a very scary thing. So is Viego on his fed. And wow, ooh, look at that damage. Surge. Graviton, nice, soloing the tank. That's gonna open up this lane. Be pushed. That soldier is so very low, but he's gonna get healed up by the team. And just one shot away from death, he manages to escape. You know what is always kind of like a, a thing that I always associate with the Tracer? What? I always thought the Tracer was kind of similar to Echo. Oh. Uh, from like. Because, like. Oh, yes. Echo the kind rewind, of broke time, yes. Tracer breaks time. I thought you were talking about Echo from this game. I was like, oh. No, uh, no, no, not Echo. Echo makes no sense. How the hell is your reloading animation literally just turning your hand blue and then white again? Like, uh, what? It's like one of those wind-up flashlights. That's how our battery works. It's motion activated. But oh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, the card... You gotta shake it a little bit and it's gonna... Oh, yeah, there you go. Now it's reloaded. Speaking of motion, the card is in motion. And this Dragon Blade is about to be motion because they Graviton Surge, reflect the Railgun shot. Going for a kill. Trying to take out a backline, but everyone's disappearing before his eyes. All that's left is a Vita there. And he's gonna to take her down. Actually, no, she's gonna take him down, and Bayou is gonna use the overclock and get taken down by Grubby, and that is the Saints just blowing this whole first point wide open. Yeah, that Sojourn is terrifying. The Brig coming out, though. I didn't expect a Brig. Brig is alright. Probably not the best support in the game right now, but she's she's a decent pick. She's just nice to go in and start swinging wildly with. We go back over to League. I have a feeling we're gonna see something crazy. Rock Boom, unstoppable. Gonna find one. We get shut down by the Cassidy. Oh no! Wait, that's a lot of money going to the Cassidy. We got the assist. Wow! Look the at the pike. pike. Okay, the Callista got the assist on the Pike ult, so it is basically worth a kill. So that's an eight and two Callista, essentially. Uh, so yeah, Bork already on the Callista. Oh, there's a Graviton in Overwatch. We see the sound barrier be committed by Missouri Western. Everybody up and alive, but I don't think it's gonna last long as Holy Wan's dealing out the damage. Now we see the overclock get popped from Grubby. Finds one, Holy One finds another. 
They're just leading the charge, and they are gonna have the beat on time here if they don't clean up their act soon. Yeah, the time is what? 27 seconds that was left, and here we have 30 three minutes. minutes. Yeah, we have the whole, whole three minutes left to go. It's a lot of time to play with. So much more time, especially especially if you're attacking here, you need all the time you can get because that first point is really the hardest point to cap. Grumpy Fun's one on Bayou there. Now we're gonna see Axel taking down one of the supports, but Holy One's there to clean it up. Now it's all down to this yep. tank. There goes the Zarya. But not gonna be able to tank too, all too much. That's it. It's almost it. That yep, is there it. Wow. Oh, speaking of it, League of Legends, we've got Maddie who's on a rampage on that Diego. The horn. I mean, he's a tank, but he ain't tanky. He's gonna go down to Talia, catching the wave for Orn here. But I don't think that this Lethality Darius cares too much. He's gonna pop the Yomus. One, two, three, and down she goes to the Q. Doesn't even need to bother with the ultimate. I mean, I was talking about the Lethality Darius in the pregame today. And now we're seeing it. Yomus goes to the first item. It, like, it gives him the gap close that he has, that, that he needs. The flash actually being wow. dedicated by the pike over the wall. And Callista gets that kill. Rockboom is on fire with that Callista. Well, he's 9 and 2, so 10 and 2 because of the pike ultimate. Uh, that's a lot of gold. And he's got, what, the Bork? And then he's probably going to base for... What do you think is his next item? Uh, I have no idea on the Callista. Rage Blade? That'd be a Rage that, Blade. Yeah, right? I think that, that'd be a good pick. And, yeah. and then the Pike with the Yomus already, the Moby Boots, so the Serrated Dirk, probably gonna turn into um, maybe a Hubris even if he gets cocky. I could see the Hubris. I could see it, I could see it. He's getting coming, trying oh, to no. grab and he lands it, and that's gonna be a kill. Uh <laughs> he basically soloed that one. He pretty much did. She was already low, so it was a nice and good kill for Pike here. And we have two up here guarding this tower. Looks like it's up to Kasten here to try and play babysitter for his team. Yeah, the Seraphs is completed though on, uh, or well, the Seraphs is completed. It's not leveled up yet though for uh, Kasten, so that's the first item. Probably gonna go ROA next, uh, but that's assuming he can get there. Here, Caitlyn grabbing two daggers, getting that extra attack speed. Already does have the Storm Razor completed. Uh, when it comes to Talia, she has uh, that is a Leon. Uh, no, that, that's not a Leon use. That is a Um And Orn doesn't even have his first item yet. There's a little bit of a skirmish still there. On the side of the Raptors, the Orn Horde will come out, but it's from Silas. Lots of damage coming through the Pike Ult. Not going to connect, but doesn't matter. Silas takes out the Alistar. Gasset and taking out the Silas in revenge. Diego gonna take out the Callista. Wait, no, was that the Callista? Yes. That was the Caitlyn. Rockboom gonna find another there. And a, wow, that was very, very chaotic. I think the Saints came out on top there. Now we're in overtime here. Missouri Western really wants to... Oh wait, no, we're watching the Saints. Missouri Western already made their push. And that is the game going over to St. Clair College. Wow. I believe. Three to three. Oh no. Sides. Yeah, but now then, now they make their push there. Yeah. That was the Saints that had to push attack one more time. Rock and boom is ten and two. So you know how you were saying this could be recoverable? I don't think so anymore. Yeah. <laughs> they did get a dragon though. They are up objective. Saints haven't really gotten any juggle I mean, objectives, but they don't really they need it. They have been throwing the objectives though. We're at 18 minutes here. 16 minutes? Yeah, 16 minutes, and there's only been one dragon. Yeah, so they could be a little bit more on top of those dragons here. Silas grabs this of the uh, Alistar ultimate. Gonna one shot the Alistar even though he's a tank. And, yeah. Oh, like, they Silas did get Rift though. Hmm? Silas, Alistar ult. Need I say more? Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be. Uh, this is kind of one of those funny. team compositions where Silas has just enough ultimates that he can steal. That it doesn't really matter. Talia ult for roaming. Warren, Warren, Alistar. The oh, Worst hold is on probably Cassidy's ult here. <laughs> and now, look at that damage they're dealing out here. The Viego on that. Talia gonna switch it over to the Caitlyn, do even more damage, lay down some traps. Cassidy's gonna get a shutdown. Doesn't quite find it, but he's gonna find this Alistar, I believe. Takes it down to one. Maddie's just in their spawn right now. The fountain 
taking them all down one by one. Oh, that Diego damage is much Yeah, that is brutal right now. The regen is coming in clutch. He just kills one, takes him over, and he's back up another 10% of health. He's gonna keep on going. He's gonna take out this Talia the second time, but doesn't quite find it. Yeah, you can't run away from that Darius healing. I hate to bring it to you. <laughs> so you know how you were saying that Viego's balanced? Oh, I didn't say he's balanced. I said he's fun. <laughs> but I'm the one I playing him. I need to remember that, v that fun doesn't mean balance. Fun can mean unbalanced as hell. And then again, I played Briar on release, so I should know what that is. That's fair. And speaking <laughs> of fun, the St. Clair College Academy team is having fun as well as they are taking 2-0 here in the series so far. Now they are on series point going forward. We have a flashpoint going up next. But hey, let's look at Veyu's play of the game before we move on here. Runs one really breaks it through the defense of St. Clair. He's really clean on that. Like, there's no missing. No, he's like a laser accurate here. I think the only thing they could clean up is maybe just their communication on the team side, because I feel like they don't play as a team. They're playing a little bit more individually on the side. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Talia got grabbed. Not going to turn into anything, though, surprisingly. One horn comes out from the side of Silas, though. That's one play gold. And one not gonna connect. There's the Viego going in. This build is just a nutty. You have Trinity Force, Kraken Slayer, Sundered Sky. It gets nutty. That's disgusting. <laughs> it, it, it's just, it's, it's funny. It's funny. It's funny when you play him. That's like me saying that, yeah, Crit Briar was balanced on release. It was a little funny. I'll give it that. It's not fun. But while the Rift is moving in, Gonna get one last slam on their turrets here. Is he going for the Cassidy? I think he, he was. was going for the Cassidy. He hit the Nexus instead. It doesn't quite work out, and now things are looking very grim for James Madison University. Their backs up against the wall of their own spawn here, trying to fight for their lives out of this bout. And three wars. Because St. Clair has not gotten any dragons, they don't even have that Elder Drake. Like, hope well, that they can hope for. how are you supposed to have an elder before 20 minutes? <laughs> that's, that's fair. But yeah, we're like 19 they, minutes in. They have no... They could maybe go for Baron, but that's a little bit too hard to take down to steal. At but, this point, no. You got a three-item Kalista. You can do that. I'm saying on the side of James Madison. Oh, yeah. No, they I'm, can't I'm trying that. to think of things they could do to recover this, but there's very, very little. Recover. I, I'm an optimist. I like to believe anything's possible if you put your mind to I it. I mean, all I'm saying is sometimes in three Viego, eight and two Darius, eleven and three Viego. Sometimes you just gotta look at the hard evidence, and the hard evidence is they have 47 kills against 15. Not a great game for James Madison, but an amazing game for Sinclair College. They are just on point right now. They claim the Baron, and now. They're about to claim the enemy nexus. Yeah, that game one was not looking at deal. Maybe they're gonna win the draft in game two. Maybe it was just a draft game. Sometimes they don't have to take you, but you're going in. Darius is going to take out that captain. Just didn't have the chance to scale. Silas taking out the board. Doesn't matter if he's tanky. Double kill because of that Alistar. Turret 1 goes down, turret 2 goes down, and so will the Nexus unless they decide to die. They're, gonna decide They're not going to die. They're going to let the minions do the work there. Looking like the pals on pal world all chipping in their part to build and destroy the Nexus here. It's going to be a victory at game 1 going over to St. Clair College. Speaking of victory, we're going to look over at the St. Clair COD team against Wright right now. Right now. <laughs> Sorry. I'm personally going to find one and it's green. The kill feed. They are on point right now. Look at that. Wow. Things are going good, especially for Brandon. Six and one. Six kill streak going on right now. Yeah. Lots of something I am not very good at doing. Um, mostly because I have never played Call of Duty in my life. Oh, so that's interesting. Well, yeah. It's a, it's a very stream of consciousness. Consciousness here, especially in these respawn game modes. You know, like, what is that sight? Do we really have time to think? It's just a red dot there. But it's green! <laughs> and it looks whack! I've never seen a red dot like that. Hey, they like it there. Green representing St. Clair. But hey, we also have Overwatch going on here in the bottom left. 
see how this goes. It's a flashpoint on Saravasa here. Oh, he's gonna take this one. We have the Junker Queen on the side of Missouri West. They're gonna go down. They're doing a good job of dealing out damage, but it's not gonna be enough. They fall down as well. Now St. Clair, 66% and climbing. It's looking to be going over the end. Yeah. Saints are really dominating this, uh, this series here. I mean, the Zarya has. I mean, I th have they swapped off Zarya? I don't think no, so. I don't think so. Is Zarya meta now? This? Well, I mean, actually, yes. Zarya's because bigger decent. hitboxes means the laser lands more. Yes. So that means that you well, can use. Well, I don't know. I think they just increased the beam of the, the projectile that comes out, so the beam is bigger. No, 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 because. Um, there's this thing, right? There was this patch that everybody's really angry about. Because healing, there's a decrease in healing. Uh, every time a DPS hits you. Yes. Right? By like 20 per- 20, no, it's 40 percent. Yes. So- So even if one tick of that beam hits you for a second. No, because she, she's a tank. She doesn't have that. But, the thing is that, um, Zarya uses shield. Right? So she doesn't rely on healing so much as shielding. Which means oh, yeah. it doesn't affect her as much. And on top of that, because the hitboxes were significantly increased, Zarya's beam can lane easier. It's like Symmetra. Yes. Right? So using Symmetra is a lot easier. But they don't pick up Symmetra because there's other characters that just do what Symmetra does relatively better. Here, like, Tracer is better because she can hit those hitboxes a lot easier, right? Because like, her biggest movement. weakness is the spread, right, on her guns. Yeah. But because the hitboxes are bigger, she can land those bullets a lot easier. So that means that she can take picks a lot easier. Um, what I'm surprised I'm not seeing though, is we're not seeing the, uh, not Genji, now. it's... Hanzo? The Monk. The oh, monk Zenyatta? Balls. Yes! Zenyatta's very strong. We see the grab dog come up from St. Clair with the overclock. Gonna commit one kill with it. Oh, because the sound barrier came out from Missouri Western. It's gonna be a thorn on the side for St. Clair, but they're still gonna fight on through it. Sir, gonna take down Injustice. The support is down. Now, you're gonna still just hang out on this point and try to lay the push. And oh, that tank going down is gonna be rough for Missouri Western. Yeah, no tank means uh, DPS is tank. And last time I checked, DPSs cannot tank very well. So, uh, yeah, everybody dies. That's, that, that's the story of what happened when my tank died. <laughs> yeah, they all fall down. And now, we going over to the last and final point here. It's 2 0. Missouri Western. It's 2 0 in the series as well. 2 0 is everywhere. So, Missouri Western, they need Wait, to try two and bring this. Wait, 2 plus 2 is 4. Jin, next round? <laughs> yeah, hopefully. I mean, yeah, we'll see the draft. We'll see the draft. If but... they play Jin, they're legends. Yeah, they will be League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyways, we're going to go over to Missouri Western here. They are on the series, their series lives right now. They need to get this next flashpoint. It's all going to be over for them. They try their darndest here. Winston jumps in, commits alt, and gets the knock off of the side here on the Kiriko. Love note, I guess, didn't have the TP at the ready. Right now, G Scale is going to try and do some damage. But, you know, without the support, I think they're going to try and just reset, back off, give the first uh, point over to them, and then just play for retake. Yeah, I think playing for retake isn't a bad call here. Winston, I, they've been swapping their tank around a lot, sorry, which does cost you your ultimate charge. But not just that, it's also just a little bit of a pain when it comes to, um, like, getting consistency, right? Yeah. Every time you swap off, every your entire team has to get back used to the type of thing you're doing, right? So every time you swap, they need to change their playstyle, mainly when you're the tank, right? Like, if I'm playing with a Reinhardt versus if I'm playing with uh, Winston, I'm gonna play different. Because one shield comes up in the blink of an eye, the other one has a cooldown. Yes. Yeah, it's interesting here, but I think it's not just that, it's just that they aren't really playing as a team right now, and the Saints are making a great use of taking them all down. They're kind of a little bit scattered, taking individual fights with each of their respective players, rather than focusing in all one all together. Right now, St. Clair and Cod is doing an amazing job. Just look at the scoreline here. The hard points, they are 26 to 56 right now. 200 points, or not 200, but almost 200 points ahead of a right as they are trying to make things right. As they have control of the hard point and get some nice 
points off of that, but the Saints are positioning themselves for the next hard point. They are going to try and take this one over, and they are in control. 30 seconds left, 20 seconds left actually, for Wright to try and take this one back, or else the first part of the series is going to go over to St. Clair. Rush all in. The Freddy funds one. KB gonna find another efficient effecti effectini there. Gonna find KB. Recently taking down one and another goes down to KB. Starbolt the odds for his team, but just not quick enough to touch as St. Clair wins that one. I wonder what I wanna see in Call of Duty. I want to see an M1 Grand. I want to see somebody play with an M1 Grand. And I want to see what the play of the game was in this game as St. Clair flips the point, wins 3-0, and wins 3-0 in the series. All right, who has to play the game? Monkey! It's going to be Sir who played the game. And for good reason, he was landing some good hits on this alt. Oh, okay, yeah, one, two, three. That's one. For another two. Four? That's not okay. bad. And oh, we're looking at the Woohoo! We got the Blood Gremlin! We have Briar being picked on the side of St. Clair. Hey, we each got to say, see our favorites today. It's a good day. In terms day. of the jungle. In jungle, My, my favorite yes. Sildjian. Okay, fair but enough. But Blood Gremlin is a close second. Uh, <laughs> ooh, the Lilia! Okay, I actually like that. Yeah, I think Lilia is actually decent against Briar, no? Uh, not so much decent as just Lily is a great team fight, right? Because like her, okay, Lily's whole goal when there's a team fight, at least in professional play, is flash in, Q Zonias, sit, wait, or sorry, flash in, Q alt, then Zonias, and then you just let your team follow up, and <laughs> uh, uh, unless you're in NA, upon which point you flash in, Q Zonias. And then your team doesn't follow up. Uh, because, yeah, that happened. An auction? And a Gragas. A Gragas. Okay, 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 okay. Interesting. I don't know how good Akshan is right now. I barely see him be played anymore. Okay, so right now you want to focus on lethality ADCs. Or, like, really good early game ADCs like Callista. Uh, the Yorick? Yorick. Hey, we were just talking about Yorick before We were the talking show. about we're him. saying that he's in a decent spot right now, but we don't really see him. So maybe... Against Gragas, what do you think is going to win out there? That's, that's interesting. Gragas, period. I think Gragas, Gragas will win okay, out. Gragas, okay, see, here's the thing. Gragas can have, like, a solid 600 AP while still having 5k health. <laughs> You're right. That's You're unbalanced right. as that hell, is, let me tell uh, you. It's, it's crazy. Uh, but, yeah, in terms of the bands, though, they were the same bands for the first phase. Second phase, though, we're seeing a Nautilus ban, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm surprised the Pike hasn't been banned yet. Yeah, they could just run the same bot lane, but I think with how different this team comp is, we're going to see an entirely different bot lane, and they're trying, trying to ban that out. Right now, it's looking... Let's see. Come on, please. We're really thinking about this next ban. It's going to be a Yasuo. Yasuo. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I I can agree with the Yasuo. Nobody wants to know when Yasuo on the team. <laughs> Definitely. Yasuo can be scary, though, in the right hands, but right uh, yeah, now... Yeah, but the times that he's in the right... Well, actually, this is pro play, so it doesn't really... Or co collegiate play, so it's, it, it would Everyone be Everyone is, right is, is good here. Yeah. Everyone's at least good. Because, like, the amount of times that Yasuo ends up in the wrong hands is uh, a lot more than in the right hands. <laughs> but I guess in this case, yes, they are in the right hands. Uh, but getting banned out is a good thing because... I mean, Greg Assault is uh, very comboable with the Yasuo. Wait, it's really comboable with the Yasuo. So I didn't. Oh, yeah, because they have Auction. Unless it's Auction ADC, but even then. I the don't Yumi Ban, though. I like that. I like the Yumi Ban. Yumi Ban's decent here. Cassiopeia going to be Ooh. picked out in the mid lane into Auction. I don't know how that matchup is. Uh, Cassio has a pretty good early game and a really, really good late game. The problem is, she has a good early game for a late game mage, but. Not against an early game champion. Auction should win this one in terms of the mid lane. Uh, the blitz. Cr oh god, the blitz crank. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, they yeah. better pick Ezreal here. If they don't pick Ezreal, they're in a bit of trouble. Ezreal turret lane. Ugh, yeah. Turks uh... Oh my god, the blitz crank Draven. That's gonna be. Uh... Jeez, I, I would have preferred a Blitzcrank Jin, but you know what? That'll do. <laughs> it's a really good combo. <laughs> I would want to go up against that, but let's see what the last champ being picked here. You kind of have to go Ezreal here. If you don't go Ezreal, you're stuck with the Blitzcrank hook. And even then, it's like, true. Ezreal oh, isn't going to... Oh, Okay, yeah, Spell you can shield? Black Shield. I mean, 
Black shielding is kind of hard, but I guess it, it does work better than Ezreal to a certain extent. Even there, I would much rather the Ezreal. The Ezreal would have done a little bit more. Sivir is more of a late game. So they do have a really late game comp. But uh, on the side of Call of Duty, <laughs> things are a little bit different here, I think. It's S and D. It's down to one, but the Saints are enemy able to plant. This might... Oh, wait, no. They're on the defense. Actually, they're in a very good spot right now. Starbot is scrambling here. No time, though. Sinclair gets the first point. Wow. Alrighty. Well, and on an S and D... I never got the SND motto. It's like, welcome to attack shooter game mode in a mobility shooter like Call of Duty. I wouldn't say it's a mobility. Oh, well, I guess people well, always okay, it's force closer it. closer to mobility People shooter. force it to be a mobility shooter. Yeah. They're like, I don't want mobility. And then they're like, all right, but I want to be able to dolphin dive, tax sprint. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Like, okay, if you're going to go for a mobility shooter, like Titanfall 2, you know? That's or a mobility Black Ops shooter. 3 was a mobility shooter. This wall running is very similar to Titanfall. Yeah, hey. it didn't run on Velocity, though. Priestly, <laughs> Priestly gets the first pick. KB funds another in return. It's one for two right now. It's down to Germ and Dunk CJD. They are maneuvering around the map here. It's one. Oh, it's Germ with a J, not a G. Yeah. Ooh, gets the Yikes. down. Dunk. Trying to find something here, but 1v3, not great. The bomb is taken. He needs to move and quick. Only 33 seconds left for him to make his move. Can he make it, though? I think he's kind of just stuck in this corner. Yeah, he doesn't really have a good way to push onto this site as it's wide in the open. They're going to find him. He's looking for a pick before he goes for it, but in action is going to be picked. <laughs> the, take the best of him as from the window he gets taken yeah. down. My SND is kind of one of those game modes where it's like dying is a lot more. Is that the French flag? Yes, that is the French flag. Oh. KB loves France, I, I suppose. But <laughs> you gotta, like, what's I, not I to love know, about like, France? No, because it struck me as like surprising. Like, did, do we have a French player? Possibly. Maybe he's, you know, has French relatives. You never know. Ah, fair but, enough. Uh, like, or maybe he's just maybe he just like loves a, a Quebec flag or something. You maybe know? he just I'll, loves I'll, baguettes. They don't have that. Maybe he just likes baguettes. Maybe he just likes. But to be fair, baguette is culture. very tasty. But <laughs> going back, we're seeing we're probably not in France. I don't know if France looks like this. I would uh, feel bad. Maybe. It's well, I mean, maybe during the Second World War, but not with <laughs> this kind of ordinance. No, I think this is far past the Second World War. We are here in Modern Warfare Three. We see a trade come out from both teams. It's a oh situation. God! The oh, a nice double from Starbot. But it's not gonna be enough. Actually, it is gonna be enough. It's evened out right now. Two v two. The Saints are gonna have to play a little bit more carefully. Looks like Wright is just playing for kills right now. Oh, he finds one through the window. He's gonna jump in. Does he hear it? He does not. But he still gets the drop shot. Yikes! That. I mean. <laughs> okay, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. How did you jump from that window to the other one? Like, without context, it looks like a hero movie type of jump. Yeah, Scott but like, went for the hero play, but it did not quite work out for him. Yeah, that didn't pan out. <laughs> As we see, Germ, things might pan out for him. He has bomb down. If he can get into a good position here. He has a little, nice little bed. Nice one-bedroom apartment here. Fridge. Everything I mean, he needs what? This to has get. to be like $1,000 a month? Probably, probably, maybe fifteen hundred if it's near uh, near public transit. But he's also near death, which might bring the rent cost down here. He's gonna look for his landlord. He hears someone oh. operating there. Gets a nice kill through the wall. Actually, I don't even think that was through the wall. He just had an amazing angle. Gonna rotate around. Only ten seconds left. He's forced to defuse, and now right gonna take their first point in a very oh. clean fashion. That was actually really good. Maybe that he wasn't, he didn't need to pay rent because of that one. Oh, I mean, rent's like, on the house. Yeah, that's on the house if you can use the angle on that slide shot taking the defense. That's pretty good. The Renetti is just the best pistol. It's a three burst pistol. It's so accurate. It does, I think, a little bit too much damage Let for a pistol. Let me tell you a tale about a three shot burst pistol. <laughs> I was playing this game and I saw that you could put a sniper scope on one of those. I, uh,. I used the pistol as a sniper. It didn't work very well. So that was a few It would, pr it would probably work in this game. The Renetti is pretty dang good. You could probably... I remember in the first Modern Warfare 2019, the remake, you could put a sniper scope on the 
five, I believe it was. It was a double barreled shotgun. It was pretty much just a sniper. I mean, at that if you point. Slugs, yeah. <laughs> makes sense. All right, a shotgun. It was no, it was slugless. Sense. Wait, hold you, on. You could slugless? put slugs on it, but you could still snipe without slugs. It was crazy. Uh, game devs balance that. Or well, now we're here. We don't really see that shotgun all too much anymore. Oh, here in Modern Warfare Three, totally. times have changed. We've moved on to the MCW being the legal gun in this tournament here. Brandon finding one of the sub. Effectini though, gonna get one with a nice headshot right back. It's a 3v3, the Saints, they have the plant down. They're on the defense right now. Breezy finds one from above. Gonna chuck some grenades, try to open this one out, but he has the attack mask that's gonna protect him. He's gonna go in, they're going for the last ditch effort here, trying to clear things out, but it's not gonna work. Right, you know, Modern Warfare 3 is the one with, they have UBGLs, right? What do you mean by that? Under barrel grenade launchers? I don't quite remember. I don't know if that's Terminal or even if that's a meta. Oh, they might have it. Okay. I think it's probably in the game. I haven't dabbled that much in this current Modern Warfare, if I'm going to be completely honest. But probably not surprise me. legal. Not a lot of people like having the noob tube in the game. <laughs> I, I just love it because of the sound. Just the... <laughs> yeah, COD sound design is always top tier. Every gun is so satisfying to hear. And I'm excited to hear these grenades as we see a triple grenade chuck here back in the fourth. It looks like artillery at that point. KB getting the first blood though with a gun. Actually getting second blood as well. Brandon getting third blood. How many blood is there left to be drawn though as there's only one. And St. Clair takes him down in record time. That was fast. Four to one, they only need two more rounds on the board, and that is gonna be the second point in the series going over to them. I'm still waiting on that M1 Grand. I wanna hear the funny pings. <laughs> 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 to be fair, like, would it, if the M1 Grand was meta, in terms of like damage and rate of fire, do you think they would still use it? Or would the ping actually be like, a, okay, no, we can't use it? No, they would definitely use it. They definitely the, use the it? The ping's a buff, it's not a debuff. It's a buff. <laughs> the sheer sound of you being out of ammo will instill fear within their hearts. Let's see an M1 Grand with a, with a drum mag just shoved into the top of it. But <laughs> anyway. Whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> Let's not commit crimes the, here. Let's see. Okay. We're back on the board here. Pusley getting one kill. Three before the bomb goes down. And another falls on the side of a right, leaving it a 2v4. Just two picks for each, right? Should be easy, but here in SND, as a monumental task, you gotta value your lives with the utmost importance here. Right now we see Brandon up here in this building, playing it very, very carefully, previously chucking a grenade. Doesn't quite find really much with it though. It's close. It's nice suppression though, he can't really move, can't really push here. Effectini getting one. Just getting one right back in that. It's gonna be St. Clair winning another point. And now That's it's just a five. One point away from victory. And that's gonna be, if we're naming flags here, that's a nice kill, Enslaya, but we gotta talk about that Argentinian flag. Well, I think maybe it's some rotation. Because before... That was a different player. Oh, it was a different player. <laughs> that would explain a lot, but they still had the French. Yeah, it did have the French, you know? Maybe it's just like a team... A team thing, yeah, yeah, like everybody has the French flag yeah. and then like a, a different... Okay, yeah, I could see that, I could see that. That would make sense. They're here to prove that the French never give up. They're not going to wave the white flag this time. They're going to go in. I mean, They're really not going to surrender. Flag, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. But nevertheless, we're going to look over at Friesley here. He's going to be rushing in. Gets taken down by Dunk, though. And right now, Saints 3-4. It's not uh -oh. looking good. Look at that trigger discipline, finds one. That is very good trigger discipline. I would have shot right there then. They also have bomb down, but he doesn't get the kill, but they get another kill traded out nonetheless. It's a 2v2. Do you think they use smoke grenades? Occasionally they do. It's more an attacking thing, I think, and the concussion grenades are just very strong. Oh yeah, I know. You don't use smokes if you have concussions. Yep, they're germ grenade in. Takes one down there. Really good discipline. It's a one v one. You don't have Pat? bomb control. Did he just close the door to run into it again? Yes, yeah, he yeah he's taking gunfight here. This could be it. This could be the point the Saints need. Just one more kill. 
getting very, very low, though. He only has 7 HP left. Gets regen all the way back up to full, though. Playing Ring Around the Rosie. Just trying to run out the clock because he knows if he dies, it's all going to be it. There's the Renetti, and Ooh. there's the second point in the series. Alrighty, going on to League of Legends here. Uh, oh! Ricky is not going for the Grasp Gragas. That's an Electrocute Gragas. This Gragas is going in for the kill because it's a midling Gragas. Wait, so Baker Boy's now? playing top? What? Did they lane swap? I think they could. They, could. they might have. Maybe it's just for the mid game or like beginning There's no of the Nico, game? right? Just to make sure. No, no okay. there is no Nico. I was bamboozled by Nico once. The only Vestia in here is going to be Lilia. Um, yeah, Lilia is the closest thing to Nico in this game, and she can't do that. Okay, so we're all good. The Yorick here, though, being really punished by the Akshan. Range top player. Oh, but he's in the cage. But still, you can just shoot him for free. Yeah, the one thing is, Akshan can't dash out of the Yorick cage. He can't swing out of there. Nope. So it will be a little bit annoying. But this Blitzcrank Draven combo does not get the Terran. Okay. He's playing Maybe, a Draven uh, right now. The oh, head. God, the Airborne. Ooh, that, that those axes so do much so much. Damage. The Draven Draven skin looking good, though. First blood. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, hold on here. Cassiopeia actually gets the first blood onto the... Uh, Onto Ricky, but. But? Maddie does get the kill back. Yes, he does. Indeed. And I think kill. this is a damage briar. It's Halo Blades. That would make sense. I feel like damage briar is pretty good right now. Well, I mean, usually what you would build is bruiser. Oh? Oh Ooh. my god, no. Okay, guys, get ready for the full, full, full zeal by Obi Boots. Oh god, Draven just lost that. Yikes. Uh oh, Nocturne's getting ganked by the Lily right now. He's gonna flash, he's gonna try and get out of here. If he doesn't Spider-Man swing soon, he's gonna be all but <laughs> dust and bones. Yeah, okay, uh it's two to four and it's not in favor of the Saints here. They might actually lose this one. The Sivir Sivir's a late game champion, right? So if they get really strong in the early game, they're gonna carry straight up. The Sivir wants to get to that 60% crit chance as quickly as possible. So we might actually see something here. Speaking of seeing something, I'm seeing we're here on control. It's the last point the Saints need to win, but it's gonna be tough here. Right is on the defense. Pretty close in lives. Right is up lives right now by. How is he never prone? Mind, it's even. And KB funds one, Priestly funds another. Look at that. They both just get a team up, just the two of them. Right now, they're trying to take control of them. Jeez, these guys don't miss. Oh, look at that. Like, there's not a single bullet that misses. They have laser precision. Look at that. It's like going off right now, just keeping One, them two, in their three, spawn. Four. He's in the office right now, but he's not pushing the pens. He is pushing them all the way back to the spawn over and over again. Now he's just camping it out. He's going to dodge in. One of them thrown behind him. Oh. That's going to be the one that takes him out. What did he get? Five, six kills there? He got like seven kills. And look at the kill line now. 11 to 23. That's a really good KD. I ordered what? Two and five, two and seven, two and four. Oh, never mind. I don't even have the time to read it. That's a St. Clair win. That is a St. Clair win, and they now only need, I believe, two more points to take it all back with them. We see the double French flag and the double kill here. Now we're gonna switch back over. Oh, I believe the Saints were on the defense there. And now it's gonna be up to right. To right their wrongs and try and take this next point here on control. Yeah, for sure here. Uh, wait, hold on. Is he holding the gun to the side? Pulling up? Yes, that's how the animation is now. You start shooting the pistols, you kind of tilt the gun to the side, pull it off your, uh, your bandolier on your chest. That is... It's for I realism. I would have not done that. Walking on the side of the building like that? I would have been scared of falling. Hey, it's hardcore parkour as they find two kills. A star bit, star bolt, a star bot, and a germ. I'm going to take two out. Germ going to take another out. Enslaya. In fact, Tini getting a kill on Enslaya as well. 
Saints aren't looking great. As the Saints are getting some nice progress over on B, but now with lives even, right, Mabel will take it into their hands, and now Saints are down lives. Oh, but oh, no. that's gonna be rough. Misses. See, that's point. what I would have done. <laughs> that's the risk you take when you're walking on the edge. If you live on the edge, you gotta be prepared to fall off. And right now, we're gonna see the trophy system get planted over on B side. They get one tick on B. Now it's up to the Saints to try and play this one all the way to the end. But looks like Wright is not gonna let them do this. But maybe they will, as the Saints are just overwhelming them in terms of kills. Yeah, it doesn't seem all that good for them. The Saints are just, they have so much control right now. It's hard to, like, every time you do or try and go for a play, you're just playing into their hand. Like, how do you, how do you counter that? Uh, you just gotta try some different angles, some different tactics, but in the hope that they're not ready for that, they usually can use ordinance to try and break through, but with the trophy system, it's not gonna quite work out that way. Uh, Yorick has level 6, so uh, now it is a 6v5, as the Maiden is basically a champion in and of itself. I, I, did I tell you the tang I lost a 1v1 to the Maiden? Hey, yeah, it to that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure you don't know that one. <laughs> I'm never gonna tell you that one. I'm never gonna tell anybody about that one, because that one was embarrassing. Yeah, that never happened. Things that never happened, number one. That. Um, but you know what is gonna happen? Saints are gonna take control of this b side, and if they do, that's gonna be the game going over to them. Or, that's gonna be another point going over to them, and potentially the game, as they are only one singular small point away from winning the entire series right here. Nice and clean last kill from KB. Yeah, I don't think any shots missed there. Uh, not a single shot. We don't miss, miss here at St. Clair. We don't miss. We have a 100% accuracy here at St. Clair. Yeah, my wish. <laughs> well, do you know what I could do with 100% accuracy? A lot of things. I could play darts. You could play darts. You could play pool. You could play bowling. You could play a myriad of things. Or you could play Call of Duty as we have right here in front of us. Right now we're seeing the nades fly out. Riot is making their attack. KB though is gonna get the first blood. Gonna rotate over and watch this edge push because he didn't he's fall seen off. it one yeah. time. He's seen he it a million off. times. Takes him down as well. KB on a five killing spree out of nowhere already. They are just dominating on the battlefield right now. Oh god. Yes, this is a very good spot for the Saints right now. They are building up in their own spawn. Have one perched up on the roof to check out any stragglers. He's the warden in the tower with the spotlight, searching out any escaping prisoners. And these guys, they're just trying to take a one point back. They just might have Starbuck gets a nice double. Trying to go down to one of the Saints on the other side. And ooh, and Saya so finds one as well on top of the ho 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 helicopter. Nacho goes down here. That's the grind and actually goes down, finds one. That's two. But two right back found out by right. It's only set 15 seconds left or so. With no progress being made, this is looking like St. Clair all across the board. They are about to take the series here, Gabriel. Do you think anything else could happen? I don't think there's a combat. 2.4 seconds. I mean, okay, if I'm being There's real. the kill streak. Missile from above really seals the deal. And Thanks. that is St. Clair winning their series against Wright. Let's see here. All right, the Sivir is 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Uh, but Tarek just got caught by a Blitzcrank. That's a lot of damage. Look at his health bar. He was full health. Now he's like a third, maybe? That looks like about, okay, about a half. I was maybe exaggerating that one a little bit, but Briar here getting ready for the dive. So much damage on the Sivir. She will fall. Blitzcrank grabbing the Taric. Gonna give that kill off to the Briar. Uh, so just a little bit of a, a look at the scores. We've got a two and three Gragas, a four and one Briar, a three and one Akshan, a one, a five and one Draven, and an zero oh and two Blitzcrank against it. One and two, oh, hold on here. Akshan's just gonna one-shot Cassiopeia, sidesteps the ultimate, beautiful. I think, does Yorick win this matchup? Oh, oh no, the explosive cast misses. 
Oh, Gragas is at a disadvantage here. He completely whiffed his ult. He went for a styling play, but he just... Oh, oh. wow, that was close. <laughs> yeah, Lilia is thanking her passive right now. Because without that passive, she would be dead. <laughs> Collector already on the Draven. Ooh, that's... Uh, that's terrifying. You don't want to be going up against Kraken that. Kraken Slayer on Auction. I think that's a Yomu. Yeah, that's a Yomu's on the Briar. So it is a Lethality Briar. Uh, already a Lich Bane on the Gragas. And Moby Boots on the Blitzcrank. Oh, never mind. Guess what? Draven what? just one shot the IE. Oh, man. This is looking very tough for Jamie Madison here. The Grubs are going to be going over to St. Clair. All three grubs uncontested. Yep. Lily is going to try and make something of it, try and get a kill out of it, but it's this Blitzcrank. Wow, that Briar ult just barely missed here. But they're still getting stunned. Going to commit the flash and get out here. But hey, the mid lane's looking pretty good. Yeah. Akshan going down to the Cassiopeia. Not an ideal situation for him. Uh, he did have a shutdown then, so that will be a lot of gold. Cassiopeia is a late game champion, so you want to make sure that she doesn't get there, and she does have that Dark Seal. Two snowballs, so you gotta watch out how that plays out. This Yorick will be lethality, seems to be going for what I think. Well, that can't be right. Well, Draven's gonna kill him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I think <laughs> a Brutalizer and a Serrated Dirk. Though, that doesn't build into an item. Those are two components. And he's building him two items at once. He might be going for a Tiamat after that. He has two long swords, so he could be getting ready for a Tiamat and then build Profane Hydra and uh, what's he called? Profane Hydra and then um, Hydra. Either built into Hubris or what's the other one? I am not quite sure. I'm not the expert on all the buildings of the League of Legends. No, I know what Yeah, he's items. building Profane Hydra and then another item. It might be, um... I swear Dirk builds into... Oh, the one that gives you movement speed. Uh, with Retrix. Either a Yomu's or a... The Sickle. Yes. Oh, wow, they really dive in here. Oh, Retrix gonna get destroyed here. Ow. Oh, God. Down. That's a lot of damage. Ooh, Maddie takes it out here. And look at that auction swinging in like an action hero. Just stun him up and shoot him up. He takes him down, but he doesn't go down without taking out that Blitzcrank first. Well, yeah, but the Blitzcrank gets rest thanks to auction has him. That's true. 400 plus years of experience, my boys. <laughs> There we go. Oh my god, those crits. Those are doing so much damage. He's already down to one here. One more axe. The th gets thrown his way. That is going to spell the end for him. And right now, St. Clair is really in that position where they, they are ahead of James Madison, but they are not, like, see, they have not put the nail in the coffin yet. Nah, this is recoverable. Like, I don't usually say this is recoverable. This is, re this is recoverable. They do have a late game center comp. Yorick can play those uh, side lanes really, really well. Oh no. Lilia, good he lands fighter. a hook. Killing oh, did I miss it? Lands a hook. Oh, misses the Briar ult. I think the plan was to combo those two, but it didn't quite work out. No, that did not work out at all. Draven, oh my god, a sliver of health on Draven, but he does take out the, the uh, Yorick. That must have been a lot of gold. What's he buying? Let's see, I'm curious. He had a collector and an IE, so what does he buy? He is buying, right? Is he buying or is he saving up for something big? Maybe he just wants to buy it all at once. I don't think he would do. I mean, come on, components are important. Fun fact, when I started playing League, I never bought the components. Oh god. So I just bought the finalized item. So I used to play Caitlyn a little bit. Oh, he buys a Soul Reaver. Oh! An Essence Reaver. Yeah, that Essence is... Reaver, my bad. That is... Okay. I would have... Honestly, I was expecting, like, a Hubris. Just, like, how Draven plays. Oh my Ooh, god! That Derek is a tank, out. by the way. TP coming out in the mid lane. It's me. Cassiopeia. Going down, though, as well. And this Briar is just running through the ball. And he still has to deal with Tower. Tower is still up. So he can't quite push in all Red the way Oh, Ricky gonna man. find a kill though. York. Red team's turret has been destroyed. Turret is down on the side. 
of James Madison. They oh are just God, there goes Lily. a walking oh ball of death. And now I think this might be out of their hands now. Yeah. Because this Draven is going crazy. All four of the laners are, and junglers are going crazy. Maybe the support. He's going crazy as well. He's 0-13. He just doesn't have a bounty on his head. 0-13? Oh, Where? Oh, he's 0-4-13. Oh, four and three. Oh, yeah, that Blitzcrank is going crazy. God. He's landing those hooks left and right. Not that time, though. <laughs> that one, no. <laughs> and now he's going to be going in here. But he gets taken down by Andros. And that's going to force him. Yeah, that Cassiopeia is pretty deadly. She's getting there. I mean, she has the Leandries. Is that the Seraphs? I think that is the Seraphs. Plus Darkseal stacks, right? So, like. It's a good amount of damage. Uh, granted, nothing Draven can't absolutely match, but it's a good amount of damage. It is a respectful amount of damage. And they had, they did get Rift though, so the Saints really could push oh, deep God. in here as the Draven is doing. He gets taken down, there's the Briar ult. Committing one no, on the rear though, in mid lane. We go for a little bit of a pincer maneuver, potentially. There's a collector on that uh wire. Stun. It's gonna go for the kill, just get it though. Cassiopeia just does too much damage. No one's there to save that Blitzcrank as he's also gonna get chipped down and lower and lower the burn takes it down. Yeah, okay, uh guys, this Cassiopeia is turning into a little bit of a problem. Um I mean what, she's two items. She's probably going for what I'm gonna assume is probably gonna be um a scepter. For the slow. Uh, personally, when I play Cassiopeia, I always go Rod of Ages and then I go Cosmic Drive into Scepter because the Scepter just. Like, Ryla's is an annoying thing, but with the movement seed from Cosmic Drive <laughs> and the tankiness of ROA, That's they just can't get. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cancer. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That snake can slither real fast. I'll be watching out for that as Rockroom kind of has to watch out for that was two, but it doesn't matter. He does too much damage. Back. Now we have a battle with bot lane as well. Akshon's going to come in that kill. Now the Saints are really swinging into overdrive here. They're 31 to 17. They're also up objectives. There's the Rift Herald, Herald being committed. I believe that's in the mid lane. Jordan doesn't even have boots yet. Go for the Tokyo Drift here. Tries to slam it into somebody, doesn't quite find it, and gets Pop killed. That was a little bit of a, of a silly move. A I little bit of a goofy goober moment there. I mean, to be fair, they do happen when you play Briar. Sometimes you press W and uh, that is not the person you want to go into. But that time, that was fully warranted. You drove the Rift Herald into that. Uh, so you 100% deserve the. Uh, the consequences of your actions. Oh my god, that lady just exploded. Exploded, just like the Saints are about to explode at this tower here. New York trying to hold the line with his teammate. Doing an amazing job at holding it off. Now, it's not going to be yet. good enough though to destroy the tower. Still have more time to burn. Next Drake is up as well as the Mountain Drake. If Sinclair does want to take that, they do have control of the Rift right now. It looks like they're more focused on just ending early. Yeah, I think they just want to finish this early. I mean, it's, what, 19 minutes? And th okay, they're at 20 minutes. Oh, no. Yeah, going to retreat back. There's a circle of friendship here. They're trying to take down the tower here. Now the Saints are just aiming to take as many Red inhibs as they can to get all of the turrets Red in the lanes now. It's just leaving the inhibitors. It's the last line of defense Shut here. Down. Uh oh, Draven got greedy. Shut down. Severe got him. That's a shutdown. I don't so, know how much gold that is though. I believe it was 700. Is that 1,000 gold? As high as we could get here. Yeah, no. Draven is a little fed, but that Terracol could, could save it. Is going in. Sleep, sleep lands. The flash yeah. to death. Oh god, that was. Did he just flash his alt? Maddie just flashed his alt. That is insane. Okay, I never would have expected him to flash the alt. I mean, not that it really saved him, 
you did end up dying in the end there. Uh, the Briar flashing her alt. Ever heard of that before? I have not really he, heard yeah, of that. He shot the alt and then flashed behind into a bush. I, I assume to dodge the Cassiopeia ultimate. But, uh, yeah, that happened. It's high level tactics here, you know, you gotta go for the flash Briar alt. Just like they're about to go for this jungle creature here. You want to get the blue buff for the team, prevent James Madison from getting any sort of buff. Or yeah, maybe really they're just trying to get sense. Vision here. I mean, Vision isn't really allowed at this point. Because, like, they don't have any priority, right? They don't have those turrets. So it's just going to get instantly cleared up by the Blitzcrank or... Uh, wait, the Draven has a Bloodthirster now. Wait, Draven doesn't even have his boots. He just has normal boots. Oh. He hasn't even completed attack speed boots. He's going full damage. He doesn't have time for boots. Oh Draven god, there was That's a big up. hook, but no one's there to capitalize on it. He's going to have to run back home to Draven. He's really misses the cage. Going to build up a couple of those stacks. Continue to just chunk them there with those axes here. Zephyrl coming out though. That okay. battle cry. I guess trying to get out there. and they start Baron trying to force a fight between them and James Madison. This is a risky gambit. It'll either pay off in a massive kill streak for them or they're all going to go down. This miracle goes down. This is not looking good for them. We're seeing another ult be committed. Rockboom takes one. Oh, double kill coming up for the Lilia. They're not going to take Baron for themselves, but they are going to be happy with those few kills they got. Briar is still up, so they can't really take it. But, I mean, maybe. Hold on. Gragas almost going down here. Lilia left with almost no HP. She is burning. And, yep, we are having some deer tonight for food. Grilled deer, to be more specific, as that Ignite will finish off the Lilia. And then the Cassiopeia getting a double kill. That's a lot damage coming out from that mage as Augshine here trying to res his teammates probably wants to get the kill onto that Cassiopeia with the mark uh oh does he have the damage Cassiopeia oh, ultimate will staunch is the question Tarek ultimate gets Makes out he's doing more damage gets exhausted and gets killed by the Cassiopeia that's four total kills in the span of a minute and I, I think that's Baron I believe this Cassiopeia has a lot of stacks of getting so many kills with that She's got the Rylas, so yeah, she's just oh. she's a threat now. Like you don't want to mess with that Cassiopeia. Like, Have you no. played Cassiopeia in Earth? Huh? Earth Cassiopeia. Oh, no, I have not. Oh my god, that thing is terrifying. Oh, it's gonna be terrifying. This if Baron stays through the leader position for so long now. I have to try and play recovery here. They're finally starting the second dragon at Yo. 24 minutes. Yeah, what's uh, what, what are the Saints doing? They're at 24 minutes, they have two dragons. I think they were just so confident that they could end that they didn't even bother going for objectives, but now that James Madison has really shown that they're a force to be reckoned with, they don't want to mess around anymore. They're just tightening up their game plan. They're gonna try and pick off. He had stunned from the Derek, though. Almost, Steve. Almost. Almost, almost. But not quite. Now they are gonna probably shove this mid lane. Yeah, there's a lot of damage coming from that Draven. Well, Screen just trying to look for those hooks. But uh, those those minions with the Baron buff are gonna be a pain to push into, right? They can't really siege um, because of that Baron buff. But at the same time, they are really ahead. So they do have an advantage. Ooh, Chilling Scream though, being used already. The Briar, that might spell disaster. Oh, sleep coming from Lilia. Even forced to flash. Brought down to no HP by the Cassiopeia as he will fall. Sivir getting the Briar. Here, the Saints are on the retreat. Blitzcrank needing to use his abilities to get away. That Infernal Drake shard will get him away as Draven is there oh, to help the him out. The Gragas ultimate will connect onto the Cassiopeia, but she is kept alive. That shield from the Taric just doing a little bit. Sivir will fall, though. The Taric ultimate doesn't have the time to land. Cassiopeia will fall. The Gragas does end up... Or wait, no. The Blitzcrank gets that kill. 
the Gragas does die to damage over time on that uh, Cassiopeia ability. And Akshan. Her Q. But yeah, Akshan is already ending. He, he doesn't want any of this. He's just going to end. Yeah, but he's keeping the ultima occupied. But hey, he's got to clear out these minions first. Trying to wait for this super minion to waddle on over here. But now Darius is going to go try and contest. Akshan's going to go for a second inhibitor. He's going to be greeted by Darius, but he's going to be able to get out there. Or that's Tarek, not Darius. My bad. Yes. It was the skin that was throwing me off there. I think that's yeah, a black with, and like, red the blood skin. Scheme. Yeah. yeah. It's like this, I think this is like blood prints Tarek or something like that. I think it's like so. it's blood themed type thing. Either that or it's uh oh what's the name of the skin? Oh, I have a terrible memory. Well, we'll say it's just blood prints Tarek because looks like it. Anyways, uh. Briar is kind of not doing what I expected though. Like, she's not that strong right now. She's got... I mean, okay, she's basically full build, but uh... Like, in terms of kills, like, 10, 7, and 6? I would have kind of expected a little bit more. I guess Draven's kind of just eating the ball up. Yeah, he's the star of the show right now. She doesn't even have the time to get assists. Oh my god, Bomba! Look at that. Cassiopeia just dies. More axes thrown their way. It's like a disastrous. It was a big stun up, but no one's there to really capitalize on it. It's a four v three. Saints have the their cards right. This could be massive for them. And never mind. It's a four v four as the Akshan goes in, swings in the action, and they get one more kill. Try and get these. I think that's game. Well, this is looking to be game unless they can find some massive team wipe on the side of James Madison. But hey, it looks like the Saints are going to take this series 2-0. Uncontested here. Yeah, as the last turret for the Nexus falls, Draven gets his final kill onto Lilia. Gragas gets the kill onto Yorwick, and Sivir falls. So will Nexus, and that will be game. Sinclair taking the series 2-0. 2-0, and what Yikes. a way to start things off. Yeah, I mean, I have to say. I'm very proud of them for their draft. Their draft was very goofy. Uh, the Briar being picked up. The Briar is kind of funny because she never got picked in pro play because of the way that she plays, right? Because of the self taunt. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to play. It's not consistent. With it. Yes. Right? Yeah, it's inconsistent because you don't pick who you fight. You kind of just say, okay, guess we're <laughs> going this way now. Um, so, yeah, Briar being able to be played at this level shows a really good good control over and like knowledge over how Briar plays. Um, so I loved seeing that, of course. Rock Pimble on the Draven kind of just auto attack one, auto attack two, <laughs> and you're dead. There's a point and click <laughs> adventure game for him. Yeah, I mean pretty much. <laughs> well, you gotta make sure to catch the X's though. Exactly, exactly. Don't want them to get damaged. <laughs> but overall, a great game from the Saints, and let's review our other games. Another good COD game Call for them. Call of Duty was just a sweep. He was a 3-0 sweep across the board and for the Saints. so was Overwatch. Overwatch was as well. There were a few more uh, contested battles in Overwatch, True. I would say. Yeah. Went back and forth a little bit more. But yeah, towards the end, they really had momentum on their side. And they really got into the weeds of it. But that's not all we have. We also have one more game today. One more Overwatch. Overwatch. Yes. Yep. So that'll be starting soon, I believe. It'll be starting in a few minutes, and we can take a look at the roster. It's going to be up against the Fisher Overwatch team, the Fisher Overwatch Varsity team. So you know how there. I was saying we had like 3% of the top 500 on our screen? Well, this time we have 1% of the top 500 on our we screen. We do. Well, no, 2%. Well, no, because... 5 Five. five, five. Oh yeah, that's two percent. <laughs> I can't do math, okay? This is why I didn't take math in twelfth grade. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. But hey, we have two percent of the top five hundred here. Let's hope they can approve it. I wonder how high in the ranking is. It matters, right? Do you think number five hundred can go toe to toe with number five himself? That's the real question here. There's uh, there's five hundred people. Five hundred people not. can be a big breadth of scale. We'll see. The well, Saints. I mean, is it like Challenger and League, where it's like, oh, okay, cool, you made it to Challenger. Welcome to the lowest of lows. Now you need to make it to rank number one to get any recognition. 
Because <laughs> like maybe. it's kind of like that, right? If you look at League, you get to Challenger and people are like, yeah, okay, congratulations, you just made it to the highest rank. You are not the top 1% of players. You are nothing. It's like, okay, well, what was the point of climbing up here then? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well, I think an Overwatch with the new ranked changes, it's a little bit harder to get all the way up there. So those people have really gotten in on the grind. They have the skills yep. to prove it. Even Noxious, he played on Team Canada for... Oh, yeah, that's true. For, for the Overwatch World Cup. These things. Yeah. I have a bad memory. I think that hey, might be why. It's just that time of the year. Everyone's a little bit forgetful right now. But hey, there we're in is. for an unforgettable game here as now the 2% are about to battle it out. Which 1% will win? Uh... I believe in the Saints. I'm going to bet all my money on them. Let's see. They have Tread on the Ramatra. We have Emeryn switching it up. Not from May, but going over. Cassidy, Noxious on Tracer, Razor, here comes Silks on Lucio. A very similar team comp from Fisher, except yeah. we have on Red on the Moira, and Sloth on the May. To be fair, that Zarya, we're seeing the same thing, right? Saints had uh, the Zarya last time. Oh, never mind, this time they're switching. Uh, what's his name? It's the Ramatra, right? Yes. So, yeah, the Ramatra, is he meta right now? I don't know. He is very meta, he's very good right now. The enemy team's also picking Ramatra. He just has a lot in his kit. He's mobile, he can shut down large areas, he has a very good shield, and he has those that big punchy punchy fists. And his guard on those fists is very impenetrable as well. He's a very good anchor point for your team to play around. I see, I see. Now we have Ramatra going in there, but it looks like Habs is going to take down Tread. Now, Fisher is just shoving St. Clair back into their spawn. Yeah, so, uh, Saint's not looking good for this little, uh, start here. Wait, this is a Moira! Yeah. Yo, Moira? In collegiate level? Okay. Moira's good right now. I'm surprised! I felt like Moira was kind of just like a, uh, a low elo stomper. No, Moira's but just a, deals the damage, deals the heals. Deals anything you can really want. Heals it's herself with her damage. Very annoying to take down, too, because of that uh, mobility ability, which you just go Oh, shadowy. that's why she's Moira. meta, yeah. Is she has AoE healing with uh, the, 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 the there's the coalescence yeah, as well. Coalescence. There it is. Powerful ultimate, keeping everybody up while doing some damage. And there's the blizzard being committed by oh. Fisher, and they all fall down. So Luca punches with the lights out at Noxious here. We're seeing another double sound barrier come out. Saint Clair does not want to give up this point. They already committed one all. They're gonna try to commit another. They're trying to play for exits here. But Luca, he's gonna use the annihilation and keep on keeping on. Gonna punch the ball down to nothing here, but the blizzard comes out on the side. St. Clair, that's not gonna be all they need to push it on through. Take down the tank, take down the support. All that's left is really the Lucio here in the soldier. Yep, and that'll be that for them. Saint's gonna capture the point. Although Fisher College does have what Hello. what is that, 86, 89%? 88? Yeah, 88. They are close. I'll get it eventually. I don't know. Maybe maybe I do need to wear glasses. I think you do. I think glasses would be a good investment. The worst part is I have them, I just don't wear them. Well, I I I, I forgore. Maybe your accuracy will go up to max if you wear the glasses. Maybe that's your problem there. Nah, I but, tried that one already. And there's the annihilation. It's going to be huge. It's going to pick up all of the backline here. At least do a lot of damage. Yeah, there's one, there's two. Emeryn finding one in all the chaos. All that's left is the Ramatra and the Lucy. And that May wall wow. stops any chance of exit. That May is soulless. Like, let your enemy retreat. Jeez. <laughs> no, you will perish on this day. Wall behind you. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. They are going to take you down. That's St. Clair's motto here as they move on through. At this point, with a reckless event, and they are going to keep on the pressure here. Actually, going to back off a little bit. Maybe even give up the point here. Try and play for some ult charge. There is the overclock from Noxious. Watch out, you gotta be very careful here. We have Tread moving in right now. He has ult if he needs it. There is the ult from Fisher, the May Blizzard. Answered with another Blizzard. We have a Venn diagram going on here. And he finds one, but looks like the, all of the Saints are gonna fall to Luca here, who just went crazy on the Ramatra and got an entire team wipe. Okay, that one was good. 
the vein diagram? I never thought I would have heard math when I've been talking about Overwatch, but all right. All right, we're back here though. It's getting dicey here. The Saints are gonna reclaim, but they are at 99%. They can't give a point a single time more. They are just pushing on through. Kill after kill. Committed the annihilation. They found one, and will they find another? And he's one shot, he finds it. And 94 and climbing. The Saints may have done it. The Lucio dives in for one last ditch effort. Gets noxious very low. 99 to 99. Whoever wins this team fight will win it all. And it looks like the Saints have won the first point. Wow. Wait, hold on. When uh, Ramatra does his ultimate, does he do like a, a Naruto hand signal? Uh, Is that what I saw? He he was a monk, so I think it was one of those like hand symbols. Yes. Oh, okay. He he. If we're gonna say some Overwatch work, he was friends with uh, Zenyatta, the other monk robot. Yeah, I got a funny Except feeling that one didn't pan out. Yeah, there's a little bit of a falling out. We have we have evil monk robot. We have good monk robot. Both very meta right now. So. Maybe they're friends again, patching things up. But patching, okay, okay, I see patching things up with the patch notes. Okay. I didn't mean to do that one, but I'll, I'll take it. But we're gonna <laughs> you see. Okay, you, you don't even try for these puns. Don't even try, just like they're not gonna try too hard to get on this point very quickly as we see Doofus come out. We're seeing Tread switch to the Zarya for this point as well. Zarya being a very strong pick here. Her right clicks do do a little bit of boop damage, though, if she position it correctly. That's an easy kill. Hammer in on the Cassidy. Getting some nice damage all in on them. That Magnetic Grenade's gonna be actually very good against this Doom Fist, because it negates all movement abilities. So that negates his punch, that negates his leap. All he has, really, is that shield whenever uh, this Cassidy attaches his grenade. Yeah, because if he dashes that grenade into his team... Yep. Then he just hits the whole theme instead. Well, no, the grenade itself negates movement. It Wait, it's like a it's, a... it's a... It's like a silence for movement abilities. When did they add that? That was, uh, I think, a few patches ago, but hasn't really seen much play because of the movement. Champs weren't very meta, but right now, they are very meta. We have Tracer, we have Echo, we have Doomfist. You're seeing so many movement champs, so now we're seeing the Cassie come out a little bit more. That's another thing that League needs more silences. Jeez, with all the IRL you guys around. <laughs> Diego is getting the reset. That's true. Games. Noxious Three. does find one in all the chaos, but it looks like Luca is going to try and single out this Kirko with yeah, no luck. Out. Yeah, Razor takes him down. We're seeing Emery. This one very carefully. Yeah, because Zarya. Zarya's been staying healthy, I think, this whole time. Yeah, Zarya has not really been too unhealthy this entire time. Now the Doom, he's trying to find some way on the point, but that Pulse Bomb is gonna maybe take him down here. Is he really gonna w lose a 1v1 with a Tracer? He does! But that's just noxious for you. He that's is the, anti the goat of all goats. That's the anti-heal that they added. Because I think the support was trying to heal and it wasn't working. I don't think it was the support, it was just a 1v1. There was no, the, all the supports were trying to keep the DPS alive against the Zarya. So I think he was just taking the 1v1, and usually I think he should win that, but he just did not. Now we see the Graviton Surge come out, Emerin taking it down. We see the High Noon come out, but he's going to be taken down by a Pulse Bomb. The Sloth's going to go down to a ledge. Trey going to take one down. He's looking to take down one last DPS before he leaves. 90 to 95% and climbing is where St. Clair's at now. Pretty sure has not touched. Oh, it is, uh... It's not a Syndra, it's, uh... It starts with an S. Sombra. Sombra, Sombra yes. Sombra is a good pick as well. Very rapid fire, does a lot of damage. The hack is also very good. Trying to take it out of this Tracer, though. None able to. And now, it's just the last little bit for the Saints. They don't want to give up the point. They don't want to have to go through all the rigmarole once again, but... It looks like that might have to be the case. As they are flooding on the point one by one. This trace is just so hard to take down. The Doom should be not too far behind. Actually, we get a switch to the ball just to stall. And now, Beyblade, Tread. Beyblade, spin! Yeah, spin to win at this point. Tread. The ball is such a pain on this map because he just gets on the point and spins. And you can't really do much. 
Uh, you can do much, but you just have to try and be consistent and have a, a lot of color to the team. They take out the ball there. Soaks is there to meet him. And now, the first point goes over to St. Clair. All righty. Well, who do you think got to play the game? I think the Saints did. They were just on point the entire time. Ooh. But hey, actually, Luca did go crazy. That is true. On that first point here. All right, let's see this. I think he puts a ball? shield and finds one, With the freeze, two, okay, two, three. I think he finds four. No, he finds three. Nah, nonetheless, three. three might as well be four at that point because you can't really make any team pushes or anything. When no. Both your supports are down, a DPS down. All you have is a tank and a DPS. Can't really do much at that point, but yeah, wow. Not really. That what? was pretty good. Yeah, what a showing from the Saints there. So now on to the next round. What game mode is it again? I believe it's a it's payload push. map. Yeah, it's payload. Okay. Yeah, it's the like capture the payload and then move mm -hmm. the payload. And then whoever gets the best time. Yeah, okay, you just go back and forth with the payload. But we're right. going to throw it to a quick break and we'll be right back with the next map.
everybody, and welcome back against Fisher College. St. Clair College has won the first point. And now we're seeing very similar team comps from Fisher. But a bit of a switch up on the side of St. Clair. We have Tread on Doomfist, Emerin on the Fair, and Noxious on the Widowmaker. And the Fair are looking good. I, oh god, May being taken down to a sliver of health by that Widowmaker. Good thing it didn't hit her head or else that would have been uh, really early death. Yeah, it seems like they saw the team comp of Fisher and decided to try and match that energy except Noxious is going Oh no, it's the exact same comp on both sides. It's a bit of a different approach here. Burning through the defenses here. The ice wall goes up on the side of St. Clair. Eyes up to room. Now, start taking the point. It's going to be tested out by Fisher. But unfortunately, I don't think they're going to be able to do it as Luca finds two. And all the chaos trend finds one, but still, Luca finds a third. Right now, Luca is just moving on in on through. Destroying all of St. Clair. Five player kill streak from Luca. It's been just been pretty much every single kill that's happened in this game so far. Yup, I mean, Saints are doing really well here, completely denying the point, not allowing them to get on it. They have two minutes, or just three minutes left to get on that point, get it moving. Uh, as the Ramacha ults here already coming out. It's a boxing match, who's gonna win it out, who's gonna be the title champion? It looks like Noxious is gonna take out Luka, we to tread. It's the belt to the winner here. He's gonna take out the May with a quick little <laughs> jab. And now, the point is looking to go over to St. Clair. Of course, Fisher might go for one last ditch ever to try to test, but it's unlikely as they want to be positioned for this payload. Yeah, I think they will opt for that payload as Fisher College is on it. Uh, 4 minutes and 46 seconds on the clock to get that payload all the way to the objective with only one checkpoint uh, in between those. Although, I do believe one checkpoint is pretty standard, right? Yes. All right. It's usually what there are some maps with more checkpoints, but it's usually just hovering around that one at checkpoint mark. May does have the uh, the ultimate available. Also the blizzard if they need it. So Tread is going to commit this. And there's the blizzard. And Tread just locking his opponent in there. Not just going to commit the overclock. It's down low. They're going to commit the sound barrier. Just not gonna try to kill with the ult, but still gonna do some good damage, put some pressure on those opponents. The annihilation comes from a, it looks like uh tread. He's trying to move on through. They got his opponent, but he doesn't quite do it. Finds one though, finds the supports and now Smashra is all on his lonesome. It's his job to get out here. He's trying to make it out in time. He's just trying to die at this point so he can reach his team faster. And now St. Clair looking very good to take this next checkpoint. Is this just me or is Tread like almost permanently an ultimate? It just always seems to have it up. I think you can build ultimate when you're still on the uh, using your last ultimate on Mantra. He's very, very good. Oh, his well, yeah, that would explain why he's meta. His ultimate lasts as long as he has champs near him or heroes near him. So if there's people near him, he'll suck the life out of them while keeping the ult up. Oh, it's kind of like a. Uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, unending despair, Link. Yeah. Okay. Now, Razor is going to take one down with the Coalescence. Take down this main, but it's a big wall coming out. Right, going to box down one. Noxious is going to get the other. It's just a few stragglers left for St. Clair to clean up. And they do. For record time. Reaching wow. the second checkpoint. Now, it's just the final stretch. Yeah, 4 minutes and 16 seconds to get to that final stretch. Is that the Torbjorn coming out? Are we gonna see a Torbjorn? That is a Torbjorn coming out. That turret could provide some extra defense, maybe a molten core would maybe buy some Maybe a Torbjorn would maybe buy some extra area, but and to be fair, molten core is a really good zoning. Looks like Tread switched it up and went with the Zarya into that Doomfist. He's tr trying to take this down for just on the last push. Because it is a tight corridor and will probably get caught out with some bullets and there is the overclock from Noxious finding one, finding two, looking for a third, doesn't quite find it, there it is. Now there's only one left tank down, two DPS's down and a support down. It's all down to this Lucio and he's gonna go down as well, Torb. Everybody's falling on the side of Fisher, St. Clair, just 
getting everybody up nice and healthy. Only one last final push for Fisher. This is the last chance they have. Yeah, uh, and I think they're gonna get it. Saints are gonna have to beat their time then. It's gonna be one. Okay, maybe they can make get it past the three minute mark. Okay, down to the two minute mark. Saints here are pretty much just running damage control. Just trying to get that point to stall as much as possible. So if they can do that, well, at least they don't have to worry too much about their time. But again, it's kind of hard to do, although they are, they do seem to be clearing them out really, really well. Ooh, Noxious though has some good shots here. There's the high noon coming out from St. Clair. Trying to clear the area. Gets one straggler now. Point is freed up, the tracer is committed. Trying to just stall things up, but he doesn't have enough health to live. 23 player kills streak messes up the super jump. I'm trying to get back in time, there's this all. There's the overclock and the Graviton surge. Now that should be it. That's gonna seal the deal here. Molten Gorge. But hey, St. Clair got some nice progress and pretty good time here. So yeah, I think it was two minutes. 205? Yeah, it was 205. 208. 208, okay. I need glasses. You're, it's fine, you're three off here. But now Fisher really needs to match the pace the Saints set. I think they have it in them. These teams are both relatively good. Uh -huh. But now that the Saints are warmed up, I don't know which way this could go. It could go either way, honestly. I think the Saints, if they have a good team composition for it, they're definitely going to be able to do a lot. I think, okay, personal opinion, but maybe a bastion could go kind of crazy. You know, just to like get people off that like point could be really good if against St. Clair. Right, they won't even know what and, happened. I mean, okay, you know what? The Cassidy being picked up is actually not a bad call. It's not a bad pick. I think Cassidy is very strong on the defense because you don't have to maneuver as much. Like you're, you're a little bit less reliant on movement when you can just find a nice spot to perch yourself in. You know, move left and forth. Still have some movement, but you don't have yeah. to jump up walls, go jump in a <laughs> in a window and try and Hello, move around. Jump through windows in this game? I thought you know. those weren't breakable. <laughs> no, no, no. Not oh, okay. breakable windows. I just mean like those upper areas of. Oh, this. okay, yeah, like the balconies and stuff. Yeah, the balconies. That's the word I was looking for. But, anyways, we're seeing a similar team comp come out. Orb on attack is uh, interesting. Nah, I mean, you know, the defensive unit, one of the... A, a strong defense is the best offense, you know? That's fair, that's fair. It'll be good once they get the payload going for this first point. It'll be tough. They're actually going to pick the Sigma. Some Ash as well, which I don't hate. The Ash is very strong. The burn right now. Luna going to take down the Cassidy. Sloth going to take down Soaks. And now, looks like this comp is really working out for them. Audric here though, taking a little bit too much damage. Gonna fall to the Ash. Wait, an Ash? Yes. Oh wow, I didn't see that Ash. She is really strong at the current meta though, with the with the dynamite damage over time. Applying yes. that uh, that passive ability of heal cut. It is really, really good. Very good indeed. And Bob is also a strong point. If they need to contest the point, throw Bob down. That's an extra set of hands there. Hold things down. Set of hands and guns. <laughs> that man is a war machine. Now Torb is looking to bring out the big guns here. Probably gonna put a turret maybe down on the payload. Trying to have that roaming turret. Now Luca leading the charge on the Sigma, taking a little bit of a back seat, but doing a really good job at just controlling the pace of this battle. Aksha is gonna take one down, but Sloth. Just gonna barrel on through with Bob and look at that. Two kills on Bob, Torb finding one through all the chaos. I don't know what's wrong what's with St. Clair's defense. They are just unable to hold anything down here. Yeah, no, they definitely do seem to be losing this defense here. Maybe they want to get like a different team composition. The Bob T is actually coming out of here for the support. Maybe that could help. You know, the wall would be a pretty big threat. Yeah, the windows. The window goes hard there. But yeah. it could... I don't know if they have... I guess you could find it with the soldier. They just don't have much that can go through that window, really. They, like, the May and Lucio aren't going to do much. But there's a big alt from Sigma there and a Kyrgyz alt. 
They are just gonna barrel on through here, destroying the Saints at every turn. Three alts for a guaranteed checkpoint is not a bad trade. Look at that, just annihilated all of St. Clair's defenses there. Yeah, I don't think St. Clair wins this one. It's not looking great. Of course, we're going to have to run this back as it is looking to go to the overtime. So it's all up to St. Clair to make a really good first one and try and clean up this defense somehow. They did switch to D.Va. I don't know how that one's going to go. Uh, I think D.Va is going to be even better. D.Va, I think, is one of the strongest tanks in the game right now, if not the strongest. And once they're in these tight little corridors, it's going to be insane. She's going to... She's gonna go in on all these small squishies and it's gonna be awful for, for St. Clair here. There's the sound barrier to get out of the day vault. He's gonna have to run away. Noxious finds one though. Trying to pick up the others as well. There is the Mantra all committed. I don't even know if you had to do that. I guess you have to because there's a Bob on the point and there's a D.Va. That was a lot of headshots in a row there. It's just Bobby so stationary. It's oh yeah. Good farm. That would explain a lot. Oh, ooh, gets the DMAC and gets the kill. Looks like Fisher has been stopping the tracks. I think you might be right. Against the Ramatra, his fists can go through the defense matrix of Eva. Wow. That soldier didn't die. That soldier. Noxious? How? Yeah, he is uh, he's a unit. That's that's all I can say. Noxious is that guy. He's built alternative. He is built different. He's the guy you want to play around, especially in this meta where DPSs are so important for playing that debuff. You want good DPS subconscious. You see Tread single out this Ash, but she gets bumped into the health pack and gets regen. We see Razor on the map. He's doing a good job keeping everybody up. They do have window. Oh, gonna commit the window. I think the window is more of a deterrent here. It is, yes, definitely. Now Luca just getting soloed out right now. Not the other Diva. Cameron taking a lot of damage, but able to deal enough out. Uh oh. There's the oh, Diva ult. Fisher doesn't really find all too much. Right now, look at that. St. Clair just taking them all down. Yeah, St. Clair is doing really oh, got well to, right gets now. a kill with the remake, but it doesn't. It's not gonna be enough, he's gonna get killed anyways. He instantly demacked and gets deleted. Honestly? Maybe Saints have an angle here. Two minutes and 40 seconds left. They could win this. They could win this. I, I believe so. I don't know why. Uh, Fisher switched over to the Diva. They're gonna switch back over to the Sigma, yeah. to the Sigma which is probably gonna work out. But uh, it's, it's gonna be a tough push nonetheless. He tries to move in. He has ultimate. He solos out one of the supports. The the, no immortality field that means this diva can kill now. With Noxious committing the overclock. It doesn't even matter at this point. He can push him all the way back to spawn. Now the Saints have the lead on time, even by a few seconds. Two more minutes out left on the clock. Fisher really needs to find something that works. Yeah, the Saints have won the time war only by technicality, so now if they can just stall the whole time, they're golden. They are looking golden as a goose as Emerin bursts down the damage. You see the Zenyatta pick also from St. Clair. Zenyatta another very powerful pick. We're playing the meta to its peak right now. Looks like they're doing a lot of damage here. Luka trying to get in here somehow, unable to switch the Zarya, which is an amazing pick. Very counters Diva fight like crazy, but the rest of the team does not counter Diva. So what are you supposed to do when a big mech flies in front of your face? You're supposed to lay down and die, just like that Cassidy did. Now Emrin going in there, the aggro echo finds a pick, the Graviton Surge. Look at that, they are playing very, very well right now. Yeah, they got pushed back really hard, and then now they're just, uh, they're pushing the objective back to the checkpoint. Slowly, granted, but like... 45 seconds. It was around that bend beforehand. It was? You're and right, it was around that bend. It was like right on their doorstep when they 
turned to sender and brought it all the way back. It was the sound barrier coming out from Fisher. The only thing that they don't didn't do is they haven't flushed out Tread's ult. I think they're trying to get him in the blizzard so they can prevent that and try and end the game before he can do anything. But the immortality field does not save Soaks, and now it's looking like this final push from Fisher might be all that St. Clair's road. Maybe. But it's not over 12, yet. There's still 11, enough time. 10, 9, Time eight, will keep on taking. We're not in overtime yet. There's a stick he can't dodge anymore. He five, goes down. Four, and now, three, did he switch without... One. Now we're seeing the Doomfist come out from the enemy side. It's just a D.Va and the supports battling it out on this point. Actually, no, the Sloth is still here, but it goes down in record time. Uh oh, there goes the mech. There goes the support. It's back in fourth tier in the kill feed. Blue and red, blue and red. But now the Doomfist is making it look more blue than red. And we're finding two crisp snipes. Game a two by a hair. Look at that. Wow. That was. That was close there. That was as close as things could get. That was amazing defensive play from St. Clair. They were they had a really rough time in the beginning. Let's look at props to Luca here One, for this two, early kill. Three, four. Great. It was very much more four. consistent on the side of Fisher, but St. Clair, they had an awful early game, but by the end of it, they were like oh, yeah, they impossible were to push. They, they literally said, all right, so guys, our back's against the wall. The only way from here is forwards. Yep. So let's just get ourselves through them. And that's what they did. They just, they, they were ramming against them. And they just, they couldn't move. Like, that's all they did. They fought back. And they were constantly wiping them. Like, okay, yeah. Towards the end, it was like, okay, yeah, that payload is uh, about yay far from the point. <laughs> but it wasn't on the point. Exactly. It was yay far. And exactly. that, that's the difference between a, uh, a win and a loss, you know? You have to make it all the way. But before we go to our last and potentially final game, I'm going to throw it to a quick break, and we'll be right back with game three. It's going to be a flashpoint.
Hello everybody and welcome back to Overwatch 2. We are in game three. Saravasa Saravasa Flashpoint. We've seen it as many times. It can go either way here. St. Clair really could win it all if they win this this all three flashpoints will be 3-0 in the series. But we'll see if they continue that trend. Fisher definitely doesn't want to lose this. Especially with how high skilled they are. They can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Saints and the Saints. They just eat the win out every single time. Yeah, this team composition is looking pretty interesting. A JQ, a Genji, and a Tracer, along with a Lucio and a Moira against a Doomfist. A Tracer 2, an Echo, a Kiriko, and a uh, matchup with Lucio, of course. Yeah, it's an interesting comp, and I don't know, I would give the team comp edge to maybe Fisher, but I think if, if they play at the high skill levels, sky skill levels that they do, it's gonna go over to St. Clair, because Doomfist, a well played Doomfist, is a very difficult play against. That is true. That is Treaded. also why I do not play Doomfist. Tread is that guy. He can play Doomfist like a virtuoso can play the piano. Right now, gonna take him down. Look at that. Doesn't even need the big fist to finish that. Nope. Well, I mean, to be fair, both his hands are pretty darn big. Like, have you seen them compared to Tracer's hands? <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I'm just saying, one is bigger than the other. That is true. Sizably big. But like, so is Trindamir's. That's fair. Right. That's fair. Like, if you work one out more than the other. Yeah, that, that could happen, you know, it's it's worth getting even workouts in. You don't want, it can actually lead to uh, muscular problems, actually. Oh, yeah, the get it If you have an imbalance in your muscles, so it's important yeah, yeah. to work both sides of your body everywhere. That's your health tip for today. Nonetheless, we're going to go over to our second flash point here. Saints winning the first one relatively uncontested. I don't think Fisher got any percentage on the board there at the last point. So now, Saints are going to continue that trend. This next flash point. And wow, the alt economy is over towards the Saints. Pulse Bomb, Copy, Doomfist ult, and all five ults are on the board now. This is gonna look nasty for Fisher unless they can play the cards out. And they don't have their Tracer to back them up here. They can't really push, they can't really do ult much right now. Trying to go back against the wall. Trying to annihilate their backline. There's the Coalescence. This is the Fist, it's gonna be big. He's hindered right now, gets shut down by the Magnetic Grenade. You see Everin on that Junker Queen doing so, so much damage on the backline, but unable to find the kill. And there's the Junker Queen ult. Gonna take down Emerin, no heals, no life. Monster's gonna take down Moira. Luka going crazy right now, taking them all down with the rest of his team. The point at 50%. Maybe gonna flip over to Fisher. Maybe. Yeah, I like think, have, yeah, it is. Yeah, there it is. But we had Noctis getting a few more percentages on the board for St. Clair. Alrighty. So that means this is gonna be a little bit more of a fight than the last point uh, here. If they're getting upwards. I think they're probably gonna get to like that 50% mark before St. Clair can really regroup and get themselves back to that fighting position so they can start taking the point, but never mind that, they're actually going in right now, starting that capture, but they're not gonna stay on it for much longer because they already captured it, so now they can push off, try and get more positions for their advantage. JQ here brought really, really low, she's got like no health left. A little health left, so let's take some down. Now Tread and the rest of the team is gonna rotate over. And now, it's looking like this next point's gonna be in St. Clair's hands, and I think Fisher's gonna give it up to them. Well, no, never mind, they're gonna actually go for one last final push, they're considering it. No, they're not, they're gonna give it up. Yep. Yeah, getting ready for that next point's a lot more valuable than trying to contest an already doomed point. Uh, but with the Doom Fist in your hands, what can you do? And what can you do in the alt economy is as bad as it is on the side of Fisher. Sure, you have high noon, but that ult is such a high committal ult. St. Clair, they have three really good ults. There's the sound barrier. It's going to free them up to push in even further. Gain a lot of ground that way, forcing them to back into that house there. Yeah, it builds up a lot. That sound barrier, it, it sound barrier is a double-edged sword too, because it gives people a lot of confidence and it's very temporary, so you need to know what to use it. It's a high noon. Oh, he tried to take out the ash, but he gets taken down himself. 
And now I believe the copy came out, and we're gonna have a high noon of our own on the St. Clair side very, very soon. That's a team kill. Yikes. And you wouldn't believe it, but it looks like Saints might get the 3-0 sweep against Fisher College. It's possible, but remember, they still need to capture this last point, and exactly. anything can happen. They are at 40%, Especially flash but yeah, Flashpoint, can, it can turn around really quickly. So you gotta watch out how you play this one. Uh, oh, oh, the sticky on the As office. he <laughs> Tracer uh, ease back and then gets a bomb just dropped on her. Yikes. They use the ultimate, the Junker Queen ult as well. Tread's gonna go down Ember and looking to go down next. Razor actually keep him up there. So it's very, very low. Trying to just regroup for Tread to get back in the fight here. Everyone finding a nice pick on the support. That's going to be huge. And the tank goes down to Noxious. Luca finding one with the damage over time. And now Tread's back in business here. It's just DPS and two supports for him to take down. And with the Salvary, he's actually going to have to back off here. Can't really out deal the damage right now. What's but up? Looks like the next fight. They took it a little bit sooner. They might be able to do it. So, so, yeah, we see a switch to the ball. Is that a Fisher? They're looking to time this one out. They think it's going to go to overtime. They're not looking too confident here. But it is still in their hands. And it's at 60% and climbing. There's not too much left. Okay. Take one down at Habs. going to take one down as well. All stones available? Will not go be used though. Unlucky. Unlucky. And we're going to right click here down it's not gonna quite be worth it though this doesn't find the kill and now fisher 90 percent climbing i think st Clair knows they can burn this point they're gonna play for next yeah they burn the point gonna opt for the next one to be fair they can they they, they have the ability to just say okay we can drop this one the other one is still gonna be available you know um they have that like leeway open to them but they can't really drop this one or else it is match point yeah, they had one more, they took it. They want to preserve the alt economy, they want to preserve their lives, so they want to get here first, which is what they did. Now it's another team fight come out. We see the ball taking a little bit of backseat approach, waiting for an opening here. That's not going to come as Noxious finds a tracer. Now we see Noxious on the power on the back line. There is the alt from the hamster, but it doesn't mean much. Because it all gets destroyed by the echo. High Noon comes out, trying to take some ground here. And it works for a second, but it's not going to be long lasting enough. Now, great for Fisher as St. Clair does have initial sight control. There's a magnetic grenade that's rough on the Doom Fist, but he shields it out, charges his fist a little bit more. Now he's trying to take out this Kirka, but she's so damn slippery, and he take, got taken down oh. by Sloth. That's got to be so unfortunate. And now the point is looking to go into the hands of Fisher and Saints. They haven't played at disadvantage state in a long time. They haven't played any of the pushers on the board. They've been playing very good on defense, but right now they are just getting shoved back into spawn. Yep, getting shoved back into spawn is not a fun time here. They uh old meteor strike though. Maybe it's gonna be something huge. It doesn't Maybe. seem like it though. Doesn't seem like it. He's just using it for the movement, trying to get around here by some Patrick's team through some area. Now the Hatchis is up again. Tries to nail down this tracer, but can't quite do it. But Tread manages to find Lucio. Now the Hatchis in a duel with this tracer and wins it out by a hair. Jesus, at this point, it's so chaotic here on this point. Double cure goal. The Tory gates are up and out. Who will pass in the spirit realm? It's gonna be. <laughs> Cabs as Tread finds fully charged Doom Fist Punch. Not I have to say, one of the hardest things to keep track of is Tracer Duel. Definitely. How do you even know what's going on? It's it's tough. It's it's a very uh, very split second decision kind of kind of thing there. But what is going to be a, a hard decision to make is when Emran should use his copy ability. You have Who does your... he copy? Exactly. Who do you copy and when did you copy? I guess Cassidy's the only real option. Because you can't really copy healer. You could copy... You could copy healer. You think he gives me the health. But there's the ult from <laughs> from Hammond there. Going out. Now, trying to take one down. 
Saints were in the lead, but that's going to quickly go the other way. They need to win this full fight, and they need to win it fast. Everybody is up, but the Pulse Bomb, the High Noon, they're all getting shredded down to ribbons as Slav and Noxious go down. Tab's going to find one more. The Saints might have to acquiesce here and go for next. They still have one more point. They don't want to give it up, but it might not be worth dying for. Yeah, I mean, there is one more point after this one, but it is match point. So they're gonna have to play this one clean. That ball, though, doing a lot of work in denial. Uh, so here, I think the point is said to be in garden. We, oh, wait, hold on. Kiriko just won v one the Kiriko. Oh, uh, Emerald almost took to it. Almost took down ball single end there. And now, this is it. This could be a series point for St. Clair. They might be able to win it all right here with this flash point. They don't want to give it up, but they have to try and counter out this ball. So we do see Trent switch over to the Joker Queen. Ever gets a nice pick on the Tracer. He's going to allow them to gain some ground. There's a Kiriko ult on the side of Fisher, making that Hammond so fast. Oh my Look god, that. that's a... Uh, that thing's going Mach 5. It, the ball is on the loose right now. He's tearing it all up. Abs gonna find one. Momentum gonna find another. It's Junker Queen though, trying to take down this backline. And Emmerin having the gunfight of his life against the hamster ball. And there's the alt. It's gonna take him down. And he's so so low, but his team's right there to heal him back up to full. Wow. Okay, Sinclair College, you're having like a significant amount of troubles. They're they are not getting any progress. They were doing so well, and now they're just, they're held up. They're not moving. The D.Va is getting swapped, though. D.Va are really strong right now, right? So very maybe strong. that'll be a change. Oh. Probably very strong. Well, it's going to be D.Va into D.Va, so we're going to see a ball switch off as well. We're just having a tank duel. The Saints won the D.Va duel last time, so now Fisher has something to prove here. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. It's going to be all up to how D.Va plays with the Matrix, right? Uh, there's a high noon for high noon. St. Clair's last to use it. They take out a support. One kill, but it's still going to be a huge pick. Wow, Tread getting a nice double. And now it's just tank G tank. Trying to take down this D.Va. Trying to take down the Tracer, but it's so hard to pin these slippery characters down. And wow, they do it just in time. Or she might the... be slippery, but she's not faster than a bullet. Exactly. And now, Saints are probably going to even up the percentage, but they're going to have another push around that 70% mark or so. Yep. Now they just need to get themselves the win here, because if they lose this one, they're going into a match four. So, if they want to make this one a sweep, they need to win this point right now. Diva is the max, but the nuke it does come through, won't find anyone though. Not an ideal use of the ultimate. It did zone them off though. It zoned them off, and now the point's gonna flip over to Fisher. Unfortunately, Saints unable to repel that last attack. They're gonna get spawn camped, and now they need to move and quick. This is looking to go to game four at this point. The Diva duel comes out with Tread, but he doesn't have time to burn on this. He just needs to touch the point. There's the ultimate. He can't get hit by it. he does. Now it's looking very dire for Saints, and now losing that in a reverse sweep on the flashpoint. It's one to two. Alright, play the game. Who's getting it? I'm gonna give it to the Diva. Uh, no, it's gonna go over to Tread. He deserves it. He was playing amazing in this first. It was a one punch man. I like that. This first section of the map. He takes one down, takes a few more down as well. Wow, look at that. A little bit messy, but we take them nonetheless. And now, I didn't even think this was going to go to a game four at this point. Neither did I. Sinclair was, like, going really strong, and then all of a sudden, it's like, you know what? We're going to win this one. Okay. So, yeah, game four. Uh, so, then we're running the game modes, but backwards, right? So, it's going to be push again? Can it's going to be payload. Push is a different game mode. Well, well yeah, yeah, push is the, uh, the, yeah. the robot. No, yeah, yeah I was thinking... Payload. Yeah, yeah, you, you got it right, though. You get what you I mean, right. yeah. You get what you mean. It's going to be push, yeah, yeah. which is very dicey, I would say. It can go really either way. Either, either, sometimes it's just a complete sweep, or it is like the bot barely moves in the middle. It's rarely back and forth, yeah. as it should be. But we'll see how it goes. 
After a quick break, we'll be back with game four. Love it or hate it, here we are back with a game of four. Fisher really showed their true colors there in that last game. Now it's up to Saints to show them theirs once again. Try and seal the deal right here. Rod push on Queen Street. Who will take the game here? To be fair, it's kind of nice because now they're at home, right? It's Canada, it's the, 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 the home arena. Uh, four wins are here. So we're going to be seeing how they can perform. Uh, push being kind of a hard game mode to play around because again, as you were saying uh, previously for the break, it's usually either really one-sided or the barriers don't move at all and it's just the robot going back and forth. So we're going to see which one of the two we will be dealing with today as our characters here, in terms of lineup, we got the Lucio, the Kiriko, the JQ, the Cassidy and the Tracer into pretty much a mirror. A Tracer, a Junker Queen, a Kiriko, and a Lucio. The only thing different here is their Sojourn. Yeah, that Sojourn could matter a lot. You know, those overclocks are very difficult to go against. And I'm not really liking the Cassidy pick on the side of Fisher College as much, because aside from that move, Magnetic Green to shut down the Tracer, he doesn't really offer much. But hey, those Magnetic Greens could be what you need to really get down some of the jams here. Look at that Sloth getting a nice double though. Yeah, for sure. So that will put uh, Fisher College kind of ahead here. Although, Sinclair did get a good push. So, a decent push in and now Fish College is going to take the lead here. It's up to the Saints to try and take this one back. Yeah, they need to regroup and get a good push in to then capture the robot and get those balls moving. But I think we might be opting for... Oh, hold on. High Noon is being popped here. Won't find anyone. The Kiriko ultimate... Oh, never mind. It does find the Lucio. And even just the support down is going to be massive. You know, more healing. It's going to be very tough. There's the Junker Queen all even less healing. There's a Magnetic Grenade. And right now, Fisher College is having an amazing run on this push. 
Yeah. Thanks for the Fisher help. College was looking Hello. not great. Not Very great serious. last time, and now they're looking so much better now. Like they're coming back. They 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 they're pulling the reverse river sweep here. Yeah, but the Saints are not gonna have it though. They're gonna take control of this bot once again. Trying to push it all the way back. Fisher did get the advanced spawn though, so it's gonna be a little bit harder. So he's gonna come flood back quicker. So now it's on the Saints to try and match them. Queen Axe caught and misses it. it. Doesn't really matter as all gets hit. There is the sound barrier coming out for Fisher. Yep. Oh, Fisher. They both sides dedicated the sound barrier there just to try and get control of that robot fisher does seem to hold it right now um maybe yeah okay they will get it oh no they're not getting into the barrier Sinclair pushing back really really hard they have to be mindful of that flanking route uh kind of splitting up their attention right because they could come from behind as they're pushing up that robot so we kind of see the situation where oh Wow, that's a big Junker Queen ult. Tried it, trying to even the board right now. He just might as Emeryn is going crazy getting two kills. Soak's getting another kill as well. Just this Tracer. And wow, Tread finishes off the last straggler. All on their lonesome. No healers, no support, no DPS. Oh no. That is a massive pick for St. Clair College. No more Junker Queen ult means they are kind of free to push this one all the way up to the check. Wow. Yeah, that GQ ultimate getting cancelled was... That's a game changer That's right there. That's what they needed. That is so much ult charge that you just wasted. It's it's going nowhere. I don't know why he panic ult there. He should have just grouped with his team. He had no one. Maybe he was trying to ult out. Maybe. I, I could see why you want to exit that way, but it's just a very risky game. It really did pay off. Now we're hearing the, kick, the Kirko ults get put on top of each other. Try to get a front one. Yeah, I'm just gonna find another though. Now, Emeryn just trying to find any kill, any kill that he can, but the other shots have just gone up right now. The bot gets stolen away from them. Pushed all the way back. They make it through though? They're kind of at a choke point here. Doofus gonna pick up two. Wait, hold on. Who swapped to Doofus? Fisher College did. Yes. Could, could be a good pick, you know, you want that expert movement speed it up a little bit. Right now, Saints struggling to really find anything to, to counter Fisher. Sure, they got the misplays here and there, but let's see how Fisher can lose the lead at this point, unless Saints can really figure out what makes the tick. Yeah, so let's see how they play this one out. Oh, Cassidy ultimate gonna find one. Jinky picks up another, make that a one for one. Tracer gonna pick up the Doomfist though. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit rough for them. It's gonna be good for the Saints. It's gonna free up for them to push here. Gosh, it's fine. There's the bomb up in the top. Doesn't quite find it. much of anything though. Now we can go back over to Hammer. Very carefully on the high ground, trying to find something for the window. They're just oh so close to this point. If they can find it here, then we'll have a real game on our hands. But right now, the advanced spawns in Fisher College's hands is very tough. Going forward here, remember popping the overclock. Just trying to gain some ground here. This is annihilating the backline though. But Ember turns around, gets a quick shot, takes him down. Nox is going to find the other tracer as well. Nox just going crazy, finding two. Emeryn finding the fourth kill on this game. Now St. Clair has kind of flipped the script. They are keeping Fisher stuck in their spawn. That I just finds a nice kill there on and on to Emeryn. Now they're all falling down, but they do have the advanced spawn. Yeah, they do also have the ultimate advantage being 3 and 2 with the one uh, Lucio soon to come. Uh, but they have to watch out because they are. Like the uh, Fisher College is getting a lot of ultimate charge here, so that is something that they need to watch out for. Maybe bait out an ultimate would be cool. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe just maybe we'll see that come out here. Tread getting very, very, very dangerously low, but gets healed up by the passive in his teams. 
I'm just gonna have to retreat back to where the tank leads him. He just barely misses the knife. It's the wall. The tread. I'm trying to lead the charge here. He's like, why did that get contested? Maybe it was the tread. Yeah, that was weird. Like, why did it stop moving? Yeah, I think someone contested it, but. Nonetheless, we're gonna see the sound barrier getting committed by Fisher. Now we see the jump between all this. Well, all the alts on the board for Fisher are being blown out. High noon, anything else? No. Yes, we're gonna see the Kitsune ult as well. Catch a few. Tracer gonna pick up a kill with that pulse bomb. Gonna also pick up the Lucio, and it's looking very Fisher College sided. But maybe St. Clair can take it. They didn't get. Oh, yeah, no, now it's gonna go over their way. Lucio down, not able to get that trade on the cast, and he's gonna be very rough. As Luca cleaves up, gonna get a few kills. Tread, try to get any amount of progress left on the board, but might be able to find it. Ooh, he falls. But GQ does go down. That is a. Does go down. Dikes. Yeah, it's gonna so yeah, be. Fisher will take that one. Fisher doing a really good job at making sure the Saints don't make any prog progress. But the Saints also been having a good run as well. Yeah, so let's see how this one plays out. Maybe they want to like kind of get the robot where it was previously. Or wait, hold on, the robot stopped moving. Oh, Saints just capped it. Okay, well that can work too. They're playing around with it. The Saints are behind though, they need to get that robot just a little bit further and then they can play for time. But only 45 seconds left on the clock, they need to play this one smart. Hopefully they can get it over there just in time. But if they could try and take this to overtime. They could. The Saints can try and match this, they might be able to even take the lead here if they can win this next two fight. It's just him left and take him down with the high dude. Doesn't even need it. Reversing down record time. Now it's in the Saints' hands. With this amount of progress being made, it's gonna be one heck of a stretch for Fisher College to close. Keep it up. They can just win the entire game right here as long as they can win this next two fight. Yeah, they got to get through. Here, now it's overtime. They're gonna do whatever they can to try and get that robot into their possession. To contest it, to just try and get anybody off of it. And here, St. Clair just needs to get it Ooh. out of their hands. Fisher won that last team fight though, so they're gonna make some nice progress. They have one more team fight left in their hands to try and repel the offense of Fisher College. This is for Fisher College's series lives, and this is for Saints to seal the deal and win this 3-1. They want to prove their dominance here. They don't want to go home to go to a game five. This is it. You're gonna see the Kirko alt come out from Fisher and the sound barrier that's both support alts out of the game. They really want this and they need it so badly. Seeing the high noon come out from Fisher as well. Noxious and Soaks though in the front lines, taking them all down. Emmer finding one as well. It's looking all red in the kill feed. St. Clair committing the Junker Queen alt. And that is going to be it. They are dead. <laughs> they get an entire team kill. Woo! And Fisher College loses 3-1 to St. Clair. What a way to win it all here. All right, let's look at play the game. Who gets it? We have the better 1% of the top 500. I must add. So it would seem. Let's see, Luca. Ooh, Luca fist. fought very well on this Doom Fist. Alright, one, two, already. Gives us the high. Oh my god, what was that parentheses? Gets a third. He just like you know you know how like Azir does like the Shreeman shuffle where he goes like and then he ults? Yes. That's exactly what just happened there. He just like <laughs> curved it around and bashed him in the face. That was actually awesome. Wow. So, if I'm not mistaken, winning that means that Saints have won every single game on this game day. I don't think they yep. lost you any of correct. these games, any of these matches. Sure, they lost a few games here and there. No, only on Overwatch. It's last Overwatch Yeah, they game. dropped the one game on Overwatch. Oh, Saints sweep. Let's, let's go. If you're a Saints fan in the chat, Saints sweep. Good job. It has been a great Saints game day. Let's do a little bit of review. We had our... our uh, Academy Overwatch game to start yep. things off. And I Along with League. And well, I think, yeah. And they Academy won. Was, and yeah, then League won. Yeah, 2 0 2 0. Yep. And then. 3 0. Yep. Yeah, Call of Duty came in with a 3 0. Yep. 
and then Overwatch to close it off with a 1-3. Three, three. Yeah. So that was actually not too bad. Yeah, very good game day all around. And that's what we do it for. We do it for game days like this. This is yep. great. We got to showcase <laughs> all these games and more. So let's thank everybody in the back who makes this whole show run. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, TJ. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you, Ari. Thank you, Tommy, and thanks, Danners, for making sure this whole thing runs. And thank you, Gabriel, for joining thank me for here on me. this desk. <laughs> and don't forget to follow our social medias to stay up to date on all things Saints-related related events, you know, stream dates, anything you could possibly want. You'll find it right there. And then we'll also have to thank our sponsors, HyperX, Tim Hortons, Subway, St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow with more game day action. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you then.